As a special agent, I actually caught up with the trend of time travel. Even if it's time to travel, why are you still carrying two children in your belly? Dad doesn't even know who they are. The original owner is also really miserable, pregnant and going to be soaked in a pig cage. But it's also okay, there's space. As a top secret agent, Bai Yao has his own exclusive small villa, which has a laboratory. It is gratifying that the small villa also follows him through the space. Don't let me know who caused my mother to get pregnant, such an irresponsible man, I'm going to skin him. A certain man. Madam, I was wrong. Keywords of the novel. After time travel, I have space to take my children to get rich without pop-ups. After time travel, I have space to take my children to get rich. Download the complete text. After time travel, I have space to take my children to get rich. Latest chapters to read. Chapter 1. Haunted by Jia Village. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. Haunted by Jia Village by Jia Village. Kill her. Kill her. More than a dozen villagers shouted under the leadership of Bai San, holding agricultural tools and wooden sticks. This slut has completely disgraced our Bai Jia Village. Li Tsuilian spat fiercely. Isn't that right? I used to say she was a promiscuous and despicable embryo. Now it's okay. You only believe me when you're pregnant. Yang Chuntao said coldly, holding a pumpkin seed in her hand and looking at the play. I don't know which kind of adulterer this is. Bayer said with a disdainful expression on his face. Whose seed is no longer important, it has been so long without the shadow of that adulterer. Perhaps it was her own long night of loneliness and unbearable loneliness, not even knowing who the adulterer was. Wang Kai reached out to the pumpkin seeds in Yang Chuantao's hand and picked them up to nibble. Village chief. Hurry up and throw this slut into the river. It's really tarnishing the reputation of our Bai family village. Li Tsuilian shouted loudly, as if there were strangers in a pig cage, not her niece. It's so noisy. Bai Yao woke up quietly, where is this? Didn't I get shot? Shouldn't you be in the hospital now? Where is this? Just as I was puzzled, my mind was buzzing with pain, and a memory flooded into my mind to merge with her. What? Did I catch up with the trend of time travel? The original owner was actually scared to death on the road when he saw that he was really going to be soaked in a pig cage. The cause and effect is that the original protagonist got pregnant before marriage. In a backward and poor village, the villagers are now preparing to soak the female protagonist in a pig cage by the river. In shock, Bai Yao has been thrown away by four big men. Holy crap holy crap holy crap before entering the water, Bai Yao was thrown into the air and kept muttering about the essence of Chinese culture. It's really like fish on a chopping board in a pig cage. I haven't realized it yet. Is playing so exciting. Dong. Entered the water. Everyone is awake, not a dream. It's not a dream. Fortunately, as a top spy in her previous life, Bai Yao's subconscious reaction was to hold her breath, which prevented her from choking on water. However, the pig cage kept sinking with the weight, and she had no choice because her hands and feet were still tied up. Despite being trained in various dangerous situations, my calm heart cannot help but tremble. Without such excitement, I'm afraid I'll become the first person in the world of crossing if I die right after crossing over. As time passed bit by bit, the pig cage sank deeper and deeper. Bai Yao could only calm down and try to break free from the rope tied to her hand, but the person who bound her was clearly as dead as her, tightly bound, and her hands were so worn that they couldn't even break free. Bai Yao wanted to use the pig cage to cut the rope, but it was really difficult to operate in the water. The pig cage was made of wood and there was no friction in the water. Watching the daytime sky getting farther and farther away from him, Bai Yao silently sighed in his heart, sigh. My face turned red and I couldn't break free from the rope, she can't hold back any longer, 
it seems like she's really going to become someone in the history of travel who can only live for an hour. Bai Yao fantasized that it would be great if she had a knife, so she would definitely be able to break free. She looked disappointed at the increasingly distant sky, ready to accept her fate without holding her breath, and silently closed her eyes. Suddenly, she felt something on her hand, still familiar to the touch. It's a knife. I opened my eyes in surprise in the water, this is the hope of living. Bai Yao quickly reacted, skillfully cutting the rope with his backhand and then cutting open a hole in the pigsty with a sharp cut. People can unleash tremendous potential when facing the threat of death. She is the winner who escapes from every death. With just one cut, Bai Yao can tear open his hands. Breaking free from the pigsty, spinning in the water, and then cutting the rope on his feet with his backhand, he desperately went upstream. Air air I want air. The speed of swimming has already surpassed the top speed in previous training. Looking at the increasingly bright water surface, Bai Yao only felt as bright as heaven. Wow! We're saved! Bai Yao breathed in fresh air, then swam towards the shore, climbed up, and lay weakly on the ground, breathing heavily. His heart rate had not slowed down yet due to escaping the crisis. Ah! Ghosts! A scream finally pulled by Yao, who had taken a break, back from the empty state. It must be the village woman who just soaked the pig cage and hasn't left yet. Bai Yao ignored and quickly sorted out the information he had obtained with his eyes closed. What are you calling a ghost? Where is there a ghost in this blue sky and bright daylight? Another village woman turned to the woman and said. If Bai Yao looked up, he would definitely recognize one of them as his own little aunt, Yang Huan Huan, while the other was Li Xiaolan, the niece of his aunt Li Tsuelian. Xiao Yang pointed at Bai Yao lying on the ground with a frightened expression on her face. Li Xiaolan was so frightened that she couldn't speak. She wouldn't have encountered something dirty the first time she came to her aunt's house, would she? It's no wonder the two of them said that Bai Yao is a ghost. If Bai Yao saw this picture of himself, he would also feel like a ghost because he was wet all over, with long hair still draped over his face. In addition, Bai Yao was underdeveloped, thin and small, with clear bones in his hands. Bai Hua Hua's hand had just escaped the rope in the water and injured his wrist, and now it's still bleeding. It looks like he's really bleeding. Bai Yao also felt uncomfortable, tidied up his hair on his face, and his entire pale face was exposed to the sun before finally recovering. You. Look, did she just move? Li Xiaolan's hands trembled as she pointed with fear on her face. Bai Yao chuckled and said, If you don't do anything wrong, don't be afraid of ghosts knocking on the door. These two people have done too much wrong. Ah ah ah. The two of them laughed when they saw the ghost. The elderly in the village often say that ghosts laugh and take their lives, and ghosts are coming to take their lives. Bai Yao's smile frightened the two of them and they ran away with a stream of urine. No wonder this river is called Yenwang River. Many people like Bai Yao died. In Bai Yao's memory, there were three incidents of soaking pigs in their village, one of which was her own, one of which was that a thief from the Bai family village was also soaked in a pig cage, and the other was that a widow had an affair. Bai Yao instantly felt a sweat on his face. What is this all about? Isn't there any government regulation? In Bai Yao's memory, the thief's name was Bai Fei, a fish seller in the village. He was usually honest and honest, and I couldn't understand why he would steal if he had a wife, children, and good health. The government soaked the pig cage and died without even investigating. In no time, Bai Yao from afar heard many footsteps, probably around ten people. This seems to be the same group of people who soaked her in a pig cage, just in time. Come back to life, Song Song Bones is saying. As soon as Bai Yao had this idea, he felt that something was wrong with his body. After frowning, the group had already arrived at the riverbank. Where is the ghost? Where is the ghost? A middle dot aged man in linen clothes held a rake at home and looked around with a fierce expression. 
Bai Yao recognized this person as Bai Er, the arrogant faction of the Bai family village. Just lie down there. Li Xiaolan hid behind a group of men, trembling and pointing to Bai Yao. Alas, as soon as he arrived, he settled in. After thinking about it, Bai Yao slowly got up. Ah ah ah, seeing Bai Yao stand up, Li Xiaolan screamed in terror. Why did I only see my uncle's niece? Where is she kissing her little aunt? What are you shouting about? The village chief glared at Li Xiaolan, who shrank her neck and looked aggrieved. If it weren't for someone else's territory, she would definitely go back with violence. This. The village chief saw the familiar figure and a hint of unease flashed on his face. He turned his head to look at Bai De and Bai Er. This is a ghost over there, isn't it that Bai Yao slut? Yang Chuntao shouted loudly. She likes to watch the excitement the most, where there is excitement, where to gather. Bai Yao knows her, the long-tongued woman in the village. After hearing this, everyone saw that it was indeed Bai Yao who breathed a sigh of relief in the clothes he was wearing in the pig cage today. The villagers still believed in the words of ghosts and gods. Seeing that it was Bai Yao, there was nothing to be afraid of as a little girl. Not right. Didn't they soak Bai Yao in a pig cage? Can this be Bai Yao's soul? Li Xiaolan spoke weakly, and when she said so, everyone took a deep breath. Legend has it that at night, the Yenwang River sometimes sees black and white impermanence pressing down on those who drowned in the river. I heard from the master that if a person dies in vain, they will crawl out of the river to seek revenge, especially since Bai Yao is pregnant again, with the heaviest yin and resentment. Li Xiaolan continued with a pale face. Bai Yao listened to Li Xiaolan's words and stood quietly without speaking. In fact, she wanted to laugh after listening, but also wanted to scare these ignorant villagers who had lost their lives. Stop talking nonsense. It's clear sky and bright daylight, ghosts dare to come out, let alone Bai Yao soaking the pig cage for less than a quarter of an hour. Village chief Bai Liang kicked the stick in his hand and said seriously. He was about to go home and see his poor little grandson when he heard the shouting of ghosts from behind and sighed, what's scary about ghosts? What's scary is people. The person who slapped his face was that the village head Bai Liang had just finished speaking when dark clouds began to cover the sky. It was like a heavy rainstorm. Bai Yao was covered with black lines. The god really cooperated with her. The villagers said that she was a real ghost if she didn't speak again. She must be a ghost, heaven has revealed, ah ah ah, that cowardly Li Xiaolan turned around and ran away, screaming while running. Others saw Li Xiaolan running and sweating profusely. Yes, they were frightened by Li Xiaolan's words. At this moment, the villagers were filled with supernatural events passed down by the villagers. Bai, a fool, was possessed, Wang's aunt became foolish when she saw a ghost hitting her head, and Bai's boy was killed by lightning after killing someone. The more the villagers thought about it, the more they sweated. Bai Yao, you can go with peace of mind. This is the village regulations and your family's agreement. We have no choice but to go with peace of mind. We will burn paper money for you later. At this moment, the village chief is also afraid and particularly guilty, this thunder. Don't hit him. As the head of a village, he had to take charge of the situation. I'm so wronged, at this moment, Bai Yao also became playful. He lowered his head slightly and his long hair was wet, covering half of his face. The other half of his face was so pale that it seeped through. Coupled with his hoarse voice, it made goosebumps fall to the ground. The dark and gloomy weather, covered in dark clouds, made it even more breathless. You. You have a lot of grievances and debts. It was your aunt who said you were pregnant, but I don't know who the adulterer was and asked the villagers to soak the pig cage. Even the village chief is now panicked. The other villagers were even more frightened and gathered silently. Upon hearing the village chief's words, Bai De and Bai Er glared at him fiercely, and the village chief immediately lowered his head. Bai Yao sneered sarcastically, 
realizing that the village chief was being bullied by several younger generations, which was really frustrating. New book, I hope everyone can support me a lot, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Bai Yao Has Not Died You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Bai Yao Has Not Died, Oh So it's Auntie who wants me to die. At this moment, Bai Yao couldn't pretend anymore because she felt a faint pain in her lower abdomen, which reminded her that she was still pregnant. Although she doesn't know who the dog man who made her pregnant was, the child is innocent, mainly because of stomach pain, not fake. If it weren't for Bai Yao's stomach pain, he would have slaughtered these people one by one and thrown them into the Yen Wang River. Bai Yao, she didn't die. Seeing Bai Yao's face smiling like flowers, Bai San's sharp eyes saw the marks of Bai Yao breaking free from the rope on his hand. Because his family sells pork, and the pig cage is also provided by his family, even he participated in tying Bai Yao, so his experience is naturally higher. Bai Yao looked at these three brothers, the famous three domineering brothers in Bai De, Bai Er, and Bai Sen village. Bai Yao could tell at a glance that these few people, along with the eldest aunt, were the masterminds. One sentence seemed to pull the villagers back from the underworld to the sunny world. Yeah, I'm lucky enough not to die. If I really die, I will go and claim my life one by one. It's not enough to claim your life. I will also go and claim the lives of all the people in Baijia village who participated in my soaking pig cage, including their families. Bai Yao spoke coldly, his eyes seeming to be able to kill someone with a knife. The villagers looked at Bai Yao's terrifying aura as if they had already thought of the scene of asking for his life if he died. They couldn't help but sweat coldly, clearly frightened. That's right, Bai Yao has changed her mind now. In her past life, she was a top secret agent and killed not fewer people than professional assassins. People who have lived in a village for so long have never seen any big bloody scenes, and at most, it is like soaking a pig cage today. Since you have come back to life, Bai Yao, let's live well. No one will take your life anymore. The village chief Bai Liang was also frightened by Bai Yao's terrible anger and quickly said. If it weren't for the only child in the family, he would definitely not have done such a wicked thing. He's already starting to regret it. Bai Yao sneered and saw the guilt on Bai Liang's face. There were some mistakes that could not be remedied by regret. He restrained his breath and walked away without looking back, leaving only the back of his head for everyone. The villagers breathed a sigh of relief when they saw Bai Yao leave. We seem to be scared by that little slut Bai Yao. After Bai San regained his composure, he said with a look of unwillingness that he was actually scared by a little slut with a big butt. Bai San, forget it, if heaven doesn't accept Bai Yao's life, you can let her go. A villager said that this villager is still considered a relative to the Bai Yao family, and is the son of the second uncle's family, Bai Zhong. He arrived later and originally heard that his niece had been soaked in a pig cage. He hurriedly ran back from the town, but it turned out to be too late. He returned home feeling sad and heard that there was a ghost on the other side of the Yenwang River. He hurried over and as soon as he arrived, he could only see the back of Bai Yao leaving. This little slut has ruined the reputation of Bai Jia village. Bai San stubbornly said, pretending to hit Bai Zhong, but it seemed like he had thought of something and angrily put down his fist. What I'm thinking is, how did Bai Yao come out of the cage, even though she had her hands and feet tied up? The person speaking is Bai Fun, the only son of Bai De, the only scholar in the village, and also by San's nephew. Yeah, she can't be possessed by a ghost, can she? Yang Chuntao kept watching the excitement in the corner and only spoke up when she saw it was safe. It's unbelievable that she broke free from the rope unarmed, Bai Fen feigned in a deep tone, but was slapped by his father Bai's head, his eyes questioning whether he had let the water go. Bai Fen looked innocently at his father Bai De. Enough, Bai Yao's ability to come back to life indicates that her life should not be cut off. Let's put an end to this matter. Village chief Bai Liang said calmly, it's rare to have the dignity of a village chief. Mainly, 
he thought of the look in Bai Yao's eyes just now. It was obvious that he was looking at him, and his hair was on end. He really regretted it. How could he exchange someone else's life for his grandson's life? After hearing the village chief's words, everyone dispersed, except for Bai San who was indignant. Bai De and Bai Er patted little brother's shoulder, what were they afraid of? The day ahead is long. What should I do? If that little slut goes back and is seen by Tsuelian, she will definitely be angry. At this moment, Bai Yao was not in a hurry to go back. Due to the small abdominal pain, she supported the tree all the way, seemingly startling the fetal gas. Without taking a break, I'm afraid I'll really have a miscarriage. Bai Yao's face is now pale, and if a doctor sees it, he might shake his head and say it's useless. I remember there was a small cave on the way back, and Bai Yao went straight to sit there. After sitting down, she felt a little better. She just felt like there was going to be a hot stream flowing out, but for some reason it stopped flowing again. Baby, be good, you must live well. Bai Yao touched his slightly raised lower abdomen and whispered, the feeling of having a child in his belly is very subtle, with an indescribable feeling, which is a feeling of not wanting him to leave. Fortunately, Bai Yao is from the village and usually does a lot of farm work. Although he is malnourished, his body is still relatively strong. The feeling of being elusive quickly disappeared, but he still feels a bit uncomfortable. The child in the belly is also three months old, and the fetus is considered stable. Otherwise, after one or two months of exposure to such cold and stimulation, the Luo Jinxian would not be able to save it. I don't know if it's because Bai Yao just spoke to his stomach, and his lower abdomen doesn't seem to hurt that much anymore. But if wet clothes are not disposed of quickly, catching a cold can be fatal in such a backward village in ancient times. Suddenly, Bai Yao remembered something extraordinary. She looked at the small knife she had been holding in her hand. This is her commonly used military knife in modern times, small and very convenient. But how can modern things be in my hands? In her mind, when she was in the water, she thought urgently, if only she had a small knife. Bai Yao's face was filled with surprise and anticipation. Is it the welfare of travelers? After thinking about it, Bai Yao closed his eyes and thought if only my clothes were dry now. What? Bai Yao opened his eyes with a puzzled expression, but nothing had changed. Looking at the small knife in my hand, I fell into contemplation. This knife seems to have been left in the villa by myself. Isn't it a specific function? But it's space. After thinking about it, Bai Yao closed his eyes and silently thought to himself, give me a bottle of mineral water. When he felt something in his hand, Bai Yao's smiling face instantly enlarged. It is indeed space. God help me too. I didn't do so many good things in my past life for nothing. After experiencing these things, she hasn't been able to get any rice or water in day and night, except for the river water. After unscrewing the bottle cap, drink water in large gulps. After being satisfied, it seemed as if the whole person had come back to life and became much clearer. She remembers that the bottle of water seemed to be stored in the warehouse of the small villa. If this is space and something can be taken out, can she also enter the space? Now she urgently wants to take a hot bath. Closing my eyes and silently thinking about my small villa, I suddenly felt a slight dizziness. Come in. It is indeed my own small villa. This is also great. Is this the legendary saying that there must be blessings after a great disaster? Bai Yao happily entered his small villa, looking at everything in front of him as if he had never traveled before. Without sighing, I don't know if I'm dead in modern times. Forget it, I'm an orphan and carefree. Although I was shot myself, I successfully completed the last task, which can be considered reassuring. I hope my country and people can remain peaceful and there will be no more wars. Entering the bathroom, I turned on the hot water, washed my head hard, brushed my teeth, and finally took a bath. Looking at the muddy water, Bai Yao's forehead felt like several crows how many days has the original owner not taken a shower. 
I don't even remember it in my memory. It's hard to say that there are still men who are interested and pregnant. After finally taking a shower, putting on home clothes, drying hair, and lying on the soft big bed, I felt completely alive. It's like walking on the tip of a knife every time I do a task before, and returning to the small villa after the task ends. Galulyalu, at this moment, Bai Yao felt extremely hungry. The original owner hasn't eaten in how many days? Why can't I stop drooling at the thought of white rice? So, Bai Yao wiped his saliva and walked towards the kitchen. Her lower abdomen hurt slightly again, and for some reason she felt that the baby was also hungry, protesting. Bai Yao quickened his pace to the kitchen and picked up the unfrozen milk to drink first. The baby in the belly seems to be very happy after receiving food, and the lower abdomen no longer hurts. Bai Yao thinks it's amazing. In modern times, she has never been married and has always been on a mission. Among these tasks, she has also pretended to be pregnant in country A to inquire about intelligence, so she has also educated some knowledge about pregnancy. Bai Yao opened the refrigerator in the kitchen and saw a dazzling array of dishes, sighing slightly. Originally prepared by someone early, he was thinking about the dishes for celebration after his last mission, but unfortunately, he could only enjoy them alone. Boiled Rice Pick up a sea bass that has been slaughtered from the backyard fish pond from the refrigerator, add salt, cooking wine, scallions, ginger, and garlic, and put it in the steamer. Thinking of having a baby in my stomach, I put two eggs in and steam them at the same time for a balanced nutrition. After washing the vegetables and stir-frying them, the aroma filled the air and my stomach started to scream out in frustration. The saliva in the mouth instinctively keeps secreting. It seems that the original owner's body is really starving. After preparing the food, it seemed like an instinctive bodily hunger reaction. Bai Yao started eating the food in large gulps, without the elegant posture he had before. I didn't put down the dishes until I was slightly full. This body can't eat too much at once because it has been eating too little for a long time. After taking a shower, the rough linen clothes worn by ancient rural people were also washed and placed in the dryer, which should have dried by now. If you wear modern clothes and go out, you may be mistaken for a monster soaking in a pig cage. After putting on the linen clothes, Bai Yao immediately left the space. Because she found that after entering the space, for some unknown reason, it was a bit exhausting. To avoid suspicion, I still have to go home. After feeling comfortable both physically and mentally, Bai Yao also digested the information of the original owner. The original owner, also known as Bai Yao, lost his father and mother three months ago and there is no news so far. There is a 12-year-old second sister, an 8-year-old younger brother, and a 4-year-old younger sister left behind. The original owner is the oldest one who is only 16 years old. As soon as I think of the original owner, I want to kill that guy who is not as good as a beast with a knife. In modern times, being 16 is the age of a blooming girl. However, in ancient times, it was also normal for her mother to have her at the age of 16. In ancient times, she was already a big girl without getting married at the age of 16. Sigh, what a wicked backward mindset. How many women have been harmed? The place where she is currently located is called the Zhou Dynasty, which is now 30 years old. This is a country that has never appeared in history, but there has been a dynasty with the same name. In ancient Chinese history, there was a dynasty called the Great Zhou Dynasty, but it was established by King Wen of Zhou. But here it is not. The original name of the Zhou Dynasty was the Yuan Dynasty, and the founder of the dynasty was Zhou Yuan. After Zhou Yuan passed away, his legitimate son Zhou Xian continued to be called the Yuan Dynasty, and it was not until the current emperor Zhou Kong succeeded that he was renamed the Zhou Dynasty. This is still what the original owner's father said. The original owner's father's name is Bai Yan, and he is the only one in the old Bai family who can read. The original owner does not have much impression of his own father because he always works outside. The original owner only knows that his father can read, know herbs, and can hunt. He has great strength, 
is good at telling stories, and looks handsome. Their mother actually has a beautiful name called Yuan Ningxuang. In the original owner's memory, her mother is very beautiful and gentle. The original owner was very lively and talkative when she was a child, very intelligent, but after falling ill once, she stopped talking and became very silent. Her parents did not dislike her because of this, but instead felt even more sorry for her, especially the beautiful woman who treated her like a glass doll. Even the second sister and a few little ones are holding on to her, hurting her. Give her the delicious food first. What kind of peerless good sister and good brother is this? The original owner is really so happy. Compared to her. Let's not mention it. Now that her parents are missing and there are two young sisters and a young younger brother at home, she should look like an older sister this time. She is the eldest in her family. Even though it's not legal to conceive before marriage, she still has to take care of her youngest siblings. Her aunt would actually take action against her. I learned from my memory that after my parents went missing, there was no pillar in the family, and the money and food were taken away by my aunt. So much so that the three siblings go to the mountains every day to dig wild vegetables to eat, and the original owner's malnutrition is also to support the youngest sister. However, compared to her second sister and third brother, she is still better. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Malicious Anti You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Malicious Anti I have been away from home for so long now, and I don't know how my younger brothers and sisters are doing. At the thought of this, Bai Yao quickened his pace. I arrived home soon. I feel a bit off, why is the house so quiet? Pushing open the door that looked almost falling, the sound of the wooden door creaked, and the small courtyard inside the fence was in a mess, as dirty as a thief. The door of the room was not hidden at all, and Bai Yao quickly entered the room. I only saw a small figure lying on the bed on the brink of death. Little sister. Bai Yao almost blurted out. No one answered her, and when she arrived at the bedside, Bai Yao immediately checked her own little sister. I have a high fever. In ancient times, this situation would have burned people to death. And seeing that the little girl was injured and dressed like a beggar, I was afraid of any other infections. Without even thinking, Bai Yao directly carried the unconscious little sister into the laboratory of the space. The laboratory in the space is particularly large, with a basement and a medical room specifically equipped for it. Bai Yao calmed down and immediately took the little girl's temperature, which was 39 degrees Celsius. If you have a high fever and are unconscious, it may be due to a brain infection. I quickly drew blood for my younger sister and did a blood routine. Because the advanced equipment immediately confirmed that it was a viral infection, Bai Yao breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that it was a viral infection rather than anything else. But we cannot underestimate it. I need to give my little sister antiviral treatment. Fortunately, her medical room is fully equipped. Because his body was too hot, Bai Yao wiped the little girl's whole body with alcohol and then gave her a shot. I fed the medicine again, and soon I felt a slight drop in body temperature, so I brought my little sister out. Bai Yao scanned the surroundings, it was really a deserted house or a dirt house. The room was extremely dim and there was a musty smell. The quilts on the bed were all sewn and patched up no sight. I really have no eyes. When wiping her body with alcohol, I found traces of being beaten on her body. Her messy hair and dirty face looked like a little beggar from somewhere. They must have done it. After Grandpa's death, they split up, and Bai Yao and his family were divided into an old house, which his father had chosen. He said it was quiet there, while the two uncles and one uncle were both given a new house. Quiet is indeed quiet, there is not a single household around. But dad. It's also very dangerous. I can't figure it out. Although the two uncles used to be selfish, they wouldn't seek wealth or harm their lives. It's that snake and scorpion-hearted aunt who always wants to squeeze their family's things, and even wants to put her to death. 
It was her arrogant and domineering behavior that made her grandfather angry to death, and then she left Baijia village with her grandmother's illness. She kept telling Yang Chuntao everywhere that it was Bai Yao who refused to get married and was so angry. Thinking of this, Bai Yao thought of MMP. She was only 14 or 15 years old at that time and wanted her to marry an old man. Fuck it. Grandma is also a delicate person. After Grandpa passed away, she went to the county town with her sister dot in dot law, and then became the head of the family by her aunt. Fortunately, Grandpa split up after his death, otherwise she and Bai Shue might not have lived until now. They starved to death with the support of the second uncle and his family. As for her two uncles and uncles. They are very speechless, and the whole family is afraid of their wives. Especially Uncle Bai Cheng, almost obedient to Li Tsuilian's words. I brought two carrots to his house and both of them were twisted. Erbuabai runs away all year round, helping people move goods at the dock in the neighboring village. He doesn't know much about his family, but Li Tsuilian believes everything he says and is easily fooled. Yang Chunping, the second uncle's mother, is also a person with a strong personality. She bullies the soft and fears the hard, and speaks loudly in front of soft-tempered people. When encountering Li Tsuilian, the eldest uncle's mother, who is so stubborn, she remains silent and hands it over to the presence. As for Uncle Bai Chen, he also follows Uncle Air to move goods. Aunt Yan Huan Huan is particularly stingy and afraid of things. So he also turned a blind eye to the Bai Yao family. I'm afraid this water ghost incident will cast a shadow in her heart. At this point, Bai Yao smiled and realized that the whole family was not as good as her father. Now that she sees the situation at home, she can't help but wonder why the aunt was so anxious to drown her. I originally wanted to take care of her and have custody of my younger siblings. This way, we can buy money from our younger brothers and sisters. And now she is over sixteen, her parents are missing, she has the right to take care of the family, and the original owner is pregnant again. She definitely cannot sell for money, so she wants to kill her. What a big abacus! She had already been known about her pregnancy, so the village chief by Liang couldn't have been unaware, I really don't know how she bribed the village chief. At this point, Bai Yao arrived at the uncle's mother's house with great momentum. At this time, their family did not know that Bai Yao had not died. It seemed that her timid aunt had not told her, so she hid at home and did not come out. Kicking open the door, their family was still enjoying their meal. Three meat and vegetables, one soup and one vegetable. What a big stroke. She and her sisters haven't eaten meat for a long time, while their family is enjoying the food here. You. You. Seeing that the person coming was Bai Yao, Aunt Li Tsuilian was taken aback for a moment. How could this be? She only came back with her own eyes after seeing Bai Yao soak in a pig cage. What are you, you? Where are my brothers and sisters? Bai Yao got angry at the thought of this and walked up to their seats, flipping over the small wooden table where they placed vegetables. We didn't have anything to eat, and you didn't want to eat either. Ah ah. My meat. God damn it. Li is irritable on the spot. Looking around, I finally saw the small bamboo stick on the ground and picked it up, wanting to hit Bai Yao. This little scumbag dares to flip over her desk. If she doesn't break her leg today, her surname is not Lee. Son of a bitch. I just said I can't sell Bai Shue. Look, Bai Yao's ghost is back now asking for his life. Uncle Bai Cheng felt guilty as soon as he saw Bai Yao, and even shed some tears, which shows the status of the family. Li Tsuilian was momentarily stunned at Bai Cheng's words, yes. Shouldn't that little bastard die? What? You sold the water. Where did you sell the water? Upon hearing that his second sister had been sold, Bai Yao was extremely anxious and felt a slight pain in his lower abdomen. He calmed his emotions and gradually approached Li Shi. Bai Yao, you didn't die. You little prostitute didn't die. After Bai Yao approached, 
Li Tsuelian saw her face clearly and there was a shadow. It was only then that Bai Yao realized he was human, not a thug, and frowned with a disdainful expression as he said. How does Bai San handle things? This bitch actually survived. Still living well. Speak up. Where did you sell the water to? Upon seeing Li's reaction, Bai Yao immediately pulled his closest cousin Bai Song over and took out a dagger from space in his sleeve, pressing it against his neck. This white pine is not a good piece of shit either. After my parents are not around, I often bully my second sister and younger brother. Wow. Bai Yao grabbed his clothes and placed his hand on his back. Bai Song couldn't move and exclaimed in surprise. Mother. Mother save me. Seeing that she couldn't resist, she looked at her mother with a look of grievance and shouted. This cousin's strength is so great. Why didn't he notice before? What did she want? As soon as Bai Song's eyes moved, he saw the knife pressing against his neck, which frightened him into tears and he dared not struggle anymore. Bai Yao chuckled loudly. He was already eleven years old and almost a young man. The crying was even louder than a three-year-old child. Yaya, don't be impulsive. Don't be impulsive. It's all your aunt's fault, let go of your younger brother quickly. Uncle was so scared that his only son's legs were trembling when he saw a knife pressing against his neck. He can't worry about his daughter dot in dot law anymore. What he's most afraid of now is that Bai Yao suddenly takes his son's life. Hmph. I don't believe you, this little slut, dare to touch my son. If you dare to touch my son, Bai Shui will be cut to pieces by me. Li Tsuelian was originally panicked by Bai Yao's posture, but when she heard something useless next to her say something, she became angry and rubbed against it. If Shuei loses a hair, I will take your son's leg. Look at me, dare I touch him. After speaking, Bai Yao pushed the dagger deeper and a red blood thread emerged. Ah ah ah. Mom. Help me. Help me. Sister, it's all my mother's fault. Please spare me. I know where my third brother is. Please let me go. Bai Song is the only son of Uncle Bai Cheng's family, and he usually eats and dresses the best in the village. He is extremely spoiled. He is such a big young man, and the ground has never fallen. Where are you like Bai Yao, Bai Shui, and his third brother Bai Jin who came down to help with work from a young age, so you can't resist being scared at all? Bai Yao had no choice but to talk more nonsense to them. His younger siblings were in danger, and there was still someone lying at home who needed to be taken care of. She thought that Bai Shui and Bai Jin were just brought to the old house of the Bai family, but to her surprise, they were sold. Are you in such a hurry? No wonder there are big fish and big meat. Does this uncle not care about his achievements? Tell me. Where is my brother? As soon as he heard about his younger brother, Bai Yao immediately asked. If you release it first, I'll tell you. Bai Song heard Bai Yao's anxious tone and said, You hit me, I won't tell you if you hit me, in a gesture of disrespect. If you don't tell me, believe it or not, I'll let you go. Bai Yao spoke sternly, and after finishing, the position of the dagger changed and it swung towards Bai Song's arm. Ow! A pig-like pain sounded. The villagers originally wanted to come over and watch the excitement after hearing Bai Song's crying, but happened to see the scene of Bai Yao hurting people. The villagers were too scared to speak. Looking from a distance, a villager had already run to call for the village chief. Say it or not. Bai Yao's gloomy voice rang out, his eyes staring at Li Shi like a hungry wolf staring at food. Tell me. Let me tell you. My third brother was taken away by Wang Hu and his wife from the neighboring village. His family has no male servants, so my mother sold my third brother to Wang Hu. Da 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 Bai Song was scared to pee as he spoke, and a foul smell came from him. Bai Yao was disgusted and wanted to kick away this coward, but he suppressed his impulse when he thought that her second sister had no news yet. My second sister is here. 
At this moment, village chief Bai Liang rushed over with a group of villagers. Seeing this scene, I slapped my thigh hard. What's this called? He really doesn't want to care anymore. The three tribal chiefs refused to come out to take care of themselves, and the tribal chief of Bai Yao and his clan went up the mountain again. Bai Yao. What are you doing? Let go of your cousin. Don't hurt anyone. The village chief saw the blood oozing from Bai Song's arm and neck, so the murder incident cannot happen in the village. If Bai Yao hears Bai Liang's inner voice, he may just laugh to death and kill someone. Has their village not killed anyone yet? Are those people who soak pig cages dogs? It's embarrassing for Bai Yao to get pregnant before marriage. He helped her hide it for over a month and even told this sulky gourd to keep it a secret and not tell anyone. I didn't expect Lee to find out. Honestly, his grandson is sick and needs five tails of silver to see a doctor. Buying him is not worth five tails of silver. Over the years, for the sake of my grandson's illness, I have emptied my family and borrowed a lot of money. So he, the village chief, can't even lift his head in the village. My poor grandson. This is the only single seedling of his deceased eldest son, and his mother also died in childbirth, so he feels very sorry for him. Under the urging of Li Shi, and just as his little grandson was sick and unable to afford medical treatment, the village tycoon Bai San said that he could pay for treatment only if he agreed to soak Bai Yao in a pig cage. He hesitated for a long time, listening to his grandson's weak cough, he had no choice but to agree to immerse Bai Yao in the pig cage. He still thought that when Bai Yao died, he would go down and bury himself, but his youngest son had not yet married, and his grandson was still so young he has a difficult fate. Just as Bai San approached him on the front foot, something happened on the back foot. It's really frustrating. Village chief, you're finally here. Hurry up and take care of this little prostitute. She hurt my son. Li suddenly sat on the ground with a tearful expression on her face, crying to the village chief and villagers. You say it or not. Where is my second sister? You're talking nonsense, I'll take your son's life. Bai Yao no longer has the patience to entangle with people like Li. The village chief was stunned upon hearing these words, with a bewildered expression on his face. The villagers who had been present before the village chief came forward and told him about what they had just seen. He is really a village chief who has been suppressed by Bai San. At this moment, the Li family bought the children of the Bai Yan family without him going through. He really regrets agreeing to let Bai San soak Bai Yao in a pig cage, otherwise there would be no such thing. He also saw clearly that Bai San and Li Shi were birds of a feather. Oh my, Bai's daughter dot in dot law, just tell Bai Yao where her sister is. Some villagers who had been watching couldn't bear to watch anymore, so they spoke up. This is a member of their clan, the daughter. In dot law of Bai Yu, the eldest son of the second uncle, and Wu Lan Wen Yang speaks for her. What do you know? Don't worry about our Bai'an family's affairs. Li complained, Bai'an is my grandfather's name. After grandpa's death, grandma left home and the whole family became Li Tzu alien's world. She was teased by the fierce villagers and retreated without speaking. Are you from Bai'an's family? You're just a daughter dot in dot law, how dare you call your father dot in dot law's name? I have to call by an uncle. Why can't you control it? Upon hearing these words, Wu Lan stopped and immediately retorted, as if she was about to argue with Li Tzuilian. Wu Lan's body was thin and small, while Li Tzuilian was tall and burly. When she saw Wu Lan being pulled by someone who was close to her, she didn't know how to reason at all when she said she would fight. They don't want Wu Lan to be really beaten. Who didn't know that Li Tzuilian's family lived in the town, her father Li Liping was a businessman who settled in Muli town from Bailey County, and her two older brothers were even more fierce. Big brother Li Changyu works at an escort agency, his muscles are so painful when hitting someone. Li Changping, the second brother, inherits the family business and does business, but he doesn't know what to buy. He just needs money. 
Her two brothers loved her so much that Litsuelian became known for her domineering behavior in the village. She was the other village bully in the village after Baidejia. Who wants to meddle? It's all from Baidejia village, if something goes wrong, it's Baidejia village's business. Holding on to the woman Wulan, she spoke loudly, with a small gaze that seemed to say goodbye to Wulan. Just scold her and don't take any action. In addition to Wulan and the woman, several villagers stood directly on Bai Yao's side, and Bai Yao also heard from the side. It seems that not everyone in Baijia village is very ruthless. Taking a glance at the woman, she looked a bit unfamiliar. It should be Wu Yan, the new wife married to his eldest son by the head of their clan, Bai Zhujiao. It is said that he and Wu Lan are from Yongfu village, and they are still cousins. Yao Yao, this Li family is at a loss. I think she must have hidden your sister. Wu Lan pointed at Li Tsuelian and said. Bai Yao looked gratefully at a few people. The villagers who came later did not know that Bai Shue had been sold. Seeing that Bai Shue was gaining momentum, they agreed with her and pointed fingers at Li Tsuelian. When did Li Tsuelian experience such anger? These damn villagers insist on going against her. Aren't you afraid of her anymore? Tell me where you sold my sister. Bai Yao took advantage of the situation and said that she wanted to get news about her sister as soon as possible. My younger brother is near Wangjia village and Baijia village, so there shouldn't be any problems. After speaking, he made a cut on Bai Song's other arm. Mom. Just tell her. Mom. Before he could finish crying, Bai Song was scared and fainted on the ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll tell you what. Li was anxious when she saw Bai Song fainting. After all, she was her biological son. She thought the village chief would come and suppress this little slut, but she underestimated Bai Yao's determination. It's really shameful. When Bai San comes back, I will definitely make Bai Yao look good. And when the villagers on one side heard this, they pointed and pointed. So this Li family sold Bai Yao's sister. No wonder Bai Yao is so angry. No, I heard that Bai Yao was soaking in a pig cage this morning. I didn't dare to go see it. It seems like she came out, maybe it was the king of hell who released her from the cage. Even the king of hell dared not accept Bai Yao, but now Li Shi has kicked the iron plate. This Bai Yao is usually unknown and speaks very little. I didn't expect him to be so tough. TSK TSK TSK, this Li family deserves it too. What are you making such a fuss about? We have a great fortune. If it weren't for some people sneaking around and not letting the people of our sect know, would Bai Yao have had an accident? Wu Lan's insinuations made the nearby village chief feel guilty and want to bury his head in the soil. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Saving Younger Brothers and Sisters you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Saving Younger Brothers and Sisters I accidentally found out that the people from Zuofenglu had a place in Muley Town, so I sold white water to the people from Zuofenglu in Bailey County. They probably are now in town, but I don't know where they are. I heard from those people that they will stay in town for a day before returning to Bailey County. Li ran to his fainting son with a shower of pear blossoms and hugged him, saying, Drunken Wind Tower. That's great. Bai Yao was so angry that he kicked Li Shi hard, causing Li Shi to fall and eat shit. Then Bai Yao took a dagger and directly cut off one of Li's little fingers. The pain made Li scream loudly. She is no longer the silent and soft owner. She will seek revenge and repay her debts with just one little finger. Bai Yao glared at the frightened villagers around her waiting for her to be free before continuing to clean up the Li family and the villagers who were coaxing her to soak the pig cage. She glanced at the person who had immersed her in the pig cage and comforted her in her memory, and she knew it in her heart. Thank you, Aunt Lan, Aunt Yen, and all the uncles, aunts, sister.in.law, for helping me speak today. Bai Yao remembers. Bai Yao bowed as a junior and left, 
leaving behind a surprised crowd. At this moment, everyone realized that the little mute had spoken and said thank you to them. For a moment, Bai Yao captured a lot of favorable feelings, of course, all of them were those of their own sect. Bai San and his sect left timidly. After leaving Bai Chang's family, he followed his memory and headed towards the town road. At this moment, Bai Yao wished he could drive a sports car, but he was also afraid of causing panic. Bai Yao. Bai Yao. After hearing someone calling her in the distance, Bai Yao turned his head. I saw Bai Zhong driving the ox cart over. Bai Yao remembered that this person was the son of Er Gong, the person who spoke for her in the Yen Wang River. When she left the Yen Wang River, she saw someone running towards her. But by then, she had already turned around and left, so it was not easy to turn back, but she heard everything that person said. Uncle Zhong, Bai Yao politely called out. I heard about your second sister. Hurry up and get in the car. Uncle Zhong will take you to town. Bai Zhong said anxiously. Bai Yao didn't refuse either. Finding a younger sister was more important than anything else. His younger brother was adopted in a neighboring village, so it shouldn't be so dangerous. In ancient times, there was a severe male superiority and female inferiority, although this dynasty had never appeared in history. In Bai Yao's perception, selling her younger sister to someone in a brothel was naturally more dangerous. What Bai Yao didn't know was that even though she was adopted, she was not biological, and she was abused. She had not yet transformed her identity from modern civilized society. If the second younger sister is sent to the county, it may not be very dangerous, especially since she is currently pregnant. Although the original owner's body is tough, her physical fitness is far from her own. After getting on the ox cart, Bai Zhong hurried on. Thank you, Uncle Zhong. I, Bai Yao, will never forget Uncle Zhong's great kindness today. Bai Yao said seriously. Although she herself has no emotional connection with these younger brothers and sisters, she has been looking forward to them since inheriting the memories of the original owner. Since she has arrived, she should be able to take responsibility. With her parents away, she is the oldest and can be considered the head of the family. Although she kills people like wildfire in modern missions, her nature is not a great evil. She didn't think there was anything wrong with going through fire and water for the safety of the country. After hearing Bai Yao's words, Bai Zhong was a bit surprised. Previously, Bai Yao was silent and wouldn't greet anyone. It seems that Bai Yao has changed after experiencing disasters. Whatever you say is from the same ancestor. Your parents are not here, and Uncle Zhong's family is far from your home, so they can't help you much. I heard that you came over after being soaked in a pig cage, but they didn't stop you in time. They. Sigh. They are all poor children. Bai Zhong sighed and said. Not everyone in the village participated in soaking the pig cage, only a few people. These people all followed the lead of the Bai family, and the villagers said they were very arrogant. They relied on meeting the town mayor, just like bandits. Everyone calls the people of Bai De and his sect that arrogant faction, and their clan leader Bai Mu is very old and doesn't take care of anything. At the beginning of the incident in the Bai Yen family, Bai Zhong went to see it once and saw that the family had money, food and drink. These children should be able to survive, but he didn't expect Li Tsuelian from the Bai Qing family to be so vicious. Bai Yao fell silent. Quickly arrived in town, but the original owner Bai Yao Shao had no idea where the people from Zuofenglu lived. Li said they would stay in town for one night, and it is said that they would only stay in town for one night to collect goods. But there are four or five inns in the town, and I don't know if they have any strongholds in this town. Don't worry. I usually do some small business in the market. I'll go to the market and ask if everyone has seen it. Bai Zhong seemed to see Bai Yao's sorrow and said. Okay, thank you, Uncle Zhong. I'll go look for it at the inn and take action separately. If there's any news, I'll see you at the entrance of the town. MMM after separating from Uncle Zhong, Bai Yao went to the first and closest to him. 
Shopkeeper, could you please ask if you have seen a girl around eleven years old with a beautiful mole under the corner of her eye? When Bai Yao entered the inn, he asked a person who was playing an abacus on the counter. This person is very young, around twenty-four or five years old, staring intently at the abacus. Go, go, no, no, don't disturb me with my accounts. His inn hasn't had any business lately, how could anyone be there? Surprisingly, someone came here to find someone. Isn't this adding another obstacle to his already blocked heart? Bai Yao saw that this inn was cold and deserted, and from the look on the shopkeeper's face, he understood that there was not even a single person in this inn except for the staff. The waiter on the side was also sharp-eyed and quickly invited Bai Yao out. He didn't come to stay at the inn, so he asked the shopkeeper about his vision. The shopkeeper is currently struggling with income. Although Bai Yao was a bit unhappy, he had to give up. Suddenly, she remembered that there were gold bars in the cabinets in her room. In ancient times, gold and silver were traded, and money could make ghosts grind. Fortunately, she enjoys collecting things, especially valuable items like this. After thinking about it, he took out a thumb-sized gold bar from his sleeve. Enter the inn again. The waiter felt unlucky when he saw Bai Yao's poor appearance. The shopkeeper is not in a good mood now. At this moment, the shopkeeper is busy and doesn't like to disturb. Why is this little lady back? Just as the waiter was about to speak, he saw Bai Yao shaking a small gold bar in front of him. The waiter's eyes lit up and he turned out to be a low dot key wealthy family. Shopkeeper, shopkeeper, we have a big guest. The shopkeeper on the counter stopped his abacus and smiled as soon as he heard that a big customer had arrived. When he saw Bai Yao dressed in that shabby outfit, his face immediately collapsed again. He had been losing money in business recently, so he continued to work on his calculations. Shopkeeper, that little woman has a gold bar in her hand. The waiter was extremely anxious when he saw the shopkeeper's reaction, and immediately whispered in his ear. After hearing this, the shopkeeper smiled again. Bai Yao rolled his eyes. He had never seen a person whose face changed so quickly before. It is true that having money can make ghosts grind. I have some news for you. If there is any news, I will give you half of the silver folded from this gold bar. The shopkeeper was not displeased to hear that half of the gold bar had been folded down to inquire about a piece of news. That's right, this gold bar can be exchanged for one hundred tails of silver. In Baijia village, not to mention a hundred tails of silver, not even fifty tails of silver can be taken out by any family. Of course, except for Bai De and his family, as well as the wealthy aunt who values wealth as her life. Miss, if you want to inquire about any news, I will definitely say everything. The shopkeeper flattered and kept his eyes fixed on the gold bar in Bai Yao's hand. Bai Yao asked again what he had just asked, and saw a look of regret in the shopkeeper's eyes. There is no greed, I want to take the gold bar as my own gaze. Do you have any contact with other inns in this town? If so, could you please help me inquire? If you help me inquire, I will pay you ten tails of silver. If there is any news, I will pay you another forty tails of silver. As soon as the shopkeeper heard this, his eyes lit up and he inquired about the news for ten tails of silver. When he found out, it was fifty tails. He has never seen such a foolish person before. That's fifty tails of silver. In Bai Yao's heart, he only felt that if he could retrieve his sister, he would spend these fifty tails of money. It was nothing, anyway, she still had a lot of gold bars. Looking at this deserted inn again, a hint of calculation flashed in her eyes. With a slight smile, these fifty tails will definitely be earned back. She has space, so she doesn't lack money, but having more money gives her a sense of security, and she won't be stingy with what she should spend. Okay, miss, please wait here for a moment. I'll go and find out. Xiao Shun, bring some dim sum to this lady. After finishing speaking, the shopkeeper left Xiao Shun in the inn and he went to inquire about the news himself. 
Bai Yao sat quietly, one hand gently caressing her stomach. I was too anxious just now, and I felt a bit uncomfortable. I even had the urge to retch. Then Bai Yao shifted his attention and continued to scrutinize the inn, with some thoughts already in his mind. In no time, the shopkeeper ran back, panting heavily. Got it. Got it. In a small house on Donggu Road. Is the message reliable? Bai Yao asked. Reliable, I'll take you there, the shopkeeper said, that's fifty tails of silver. How can the god of wealth not accompany him when he visits? It's also good, the shopkeeper immediately stepped forward and made a gesture of invitation to Bai Yao. Who is the person this young lady is looking for from you? I've inquired, and that person is from the drunken wind tower, so it's not easy to provoke. The shopkeeper asked curiously as he walked on the road. When he returned, he saw the little lady caressing her slightly raised abdomen and realized that it was not a young lady from any particular family, but a young lady from another family. I'm just a little curious about who this generous young lady really is, and what kind of people are she looking for from the drunken wind tower. It's my sister, Bai Yao saw that although this person was a bit greedy, he answered without malice. Ah. Your sister. This is really bad. When I just found out, I deliberately came back that way. When I passed by, I could hear some bad noises. Bai Yao's face changed when he heard the shopkeeper's unpleasant voice. Are these people such beasts? Bai Yao hugged his stomach and quickened his pace. But fortunately, it was Bai Yao who had a misconception. I arrived at the small house very soon. It must be said that although it is still in the town, it is quite remote. From a distance, one could hear bursts of crying, accompanied by screams of pain and the sound of whips. Who are you? This is the territory of Drunken Wind Tower. If you have nothing to do, go away. The two big men guarding the door, with their muscles all over their bodies and sticks in their hands, intimidated when they saw Bai Yao and the others approaching. Oh, two young brothers. I am Yun Xian, the shopkeeper of the Cloud Inn. I would like to see you in charge. Could you please go and pass on the message? The shopkeeper saw that Bai Yao's face was not good and he looked like he was about to break in. He quickly stepped forward and said, putting two strings of copper coins in a strong man's hand. After hearing that it was the cloud in, the strong man's face became more polite and he threw the copper coin in his hand, becoming even more polite. Boss Yun Xian, please wait a moment on your end. After receiving the money, the other strong man opened the door of the house and walked in. End of this chapter Chapter 5 It's Really Sister you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 It's really sister after a while, the strong man came out and invited the shopkeeper and Bai Yao over. At this moment, the cries of the little girls could no longer be heard. Oh, the cloud shopkeeper is here. What are you looking for from our family? A charming woman twisted her round waist, gently stroking her nose with a handkerchief in her hand, her face covered in visible rouge and powder. Although she dressed a bit low. Key, the material on her body was worth a lot at first glance. Although a woman may not be stunning and beautiful, she looks rich and sexy, and her facial features are also good. She is a beautiful woman. The beautiful woman gently extended her hand to indicate that they were sitting down, and the servant had already poured tea. Undoubtedly, it is the largest brothel in Bailey County. Even a little mother would bring so many servants with her when she came out of such a small town. I want to demand someone from Minyang. It seems that this cloud shopkeeper is still acquainted with this beautiful woman. The shopkeeper sat down with a smile on his face, and Bai Yao noticed that the cloud shopkeeper's eyes lit up whenever he talked about money, even the requester seemed to be in business. Yo, the cloud shopkeeper has come up with the idea of wanting to visit our Zuifeng building business. The beautiful woman raised an eyebrow as if she had seen through everything, picked up the tea and drank it elegantly. Mein Yang is joking. I heard she has a new little girl today. 
She is the young lady's biological sister, who is only twelve years old and still young. How about Mein Yang sell me face? After the shopkeeper finished speaking, Mein Yang cast aside by Yao who was sitting beside her, as if the shopkeeper looked at her at first glance with disdain. If you have a body without a figure, you will be as thin as a bone, but these facial features are quite impressive. Unfortunately, he is not innocent anymore. Otherwise, he would have been trained and nurtured. He would have eaten more food to make up for it. He would have become another flower queen in our building. Bai Yao saw Mein Yang looking at her and sighed. Sure enough, he does that job. His eyes are really sharp. I did indeed take in several younger ones, and the younger ones are the best. After a few years of training, we will have fresh blood in the drunken wind tower. Moreover, I am a legitimate buyer and seller with a contract in hand. Mei Nian lazily caressed her chin and looked at Yun Xian, saying. She does know this cloud shopkeeper and has been a neighbor before. He has helped her. It's just that. Before Yun Xian could speak, Mei Nian continued to say. Selling you face is possible, but all the girls here are sold back by me. Mei Nian raised her eyebrows, and those familiar with her knew that it was a scam, let alone that the two had even met before. Before Yun Xian could speak, he heard a commotion in the backyard. Bai Yao's pupils shrank, and the original owner of the sound was already familiar. You guys let go of me. Let go of me. Upon hearing Bai Shui's shout, Bai Yao walked towards the source of the sound without saying a word, his face cold. Seeing Bai Yao heading towards the backyard, Mei Yang and Yun Xian also hurried over. What's going on with you? You can't even control a few little girls. Mei Yang cursed with a displeased expression on her face. Bai Yao could see from a distance that Bai Shui was being pressed down by two women, who wanted to slap her in the face. Stop it. Bai Yao lowered his face and scolded coldly, if this slap goes down, that old woman won't have to live anymore. The old woman turned her head to look at Bai Yao, and saw a stunning aura, as if her hand would be gone if she really hit it. She stopped when she saw Mei Yang coming from behind. Bai Shue lifted her head and looked at the person shouting, Stop, tears streaming down her eyes. Is she dreaming? Mei Yang, this is my second sister. I want to take her away. Bai Yao turned his head to look at Mei Yang and said, her imposing demeanor shook her as if she had seen the figure of that person. Then he shook his head, how could it be him? He has been dead for a long time. Since I have promised to save face for the cloud shopkeeper, I will naturally give it to you. However, your sister was bought by me for ten tails of silver. Look at her wearing it up and down now. Cloud shopkeeper, do you have any silver coins? Help me give her twenty tails. Before Mei Yang could finish speaking, Bai Yao knew what she meant, and he spoke to Yun Xian very humbly. Bai Shui confirmed the person speaking again and then burst into tears. Sister. Is it really you? Sister. Wu Wu. Auntie said you. Said you were drowned in a pig cage. White water swayed and rushed towards Bai Yao, holding her tightly and letting out tears. All right. All right, all right, all right, let's go home. Bai Yao took out a handkerchief from his sleeve, helped Bai Shui wipe away her tears, and even hinted to her to wipe her nose. Bai Shui was also polite, sobbing while wiping his nose and tears. Bai Yao gently patted her back and approached Bai Shui to find that there was a bloody smell on her body, and her eyes became a bit cold. With one glance at the two women, one of them blinked and Bai Yao snorted coldly. In a position that others couldn't see, he controlled his strength and threw a tiny silver needle, which happened to be inserted into the woman's hair. The silver needle has been poisoned. As long as you accidentally scratch the skin, if you're lucky, you won't die. If you're not lucky, hee <laughs> hee. After the cloud shopkeeper and Mei Yang had a good conversation and obtained the contract, Bai Yao tore it up on the spot because it had not yet been registered in Bailey County so it was not considered a legitimate contract. Just destroy it. 
After that, the three of them left. Not long after they left, they heard a woman's exclamation. Just scratching my head, how could I scratch the needle? Looking at the red blood droplets on her fingers, who the hell dares to hide a needle on her head? Bai Yao sneered, really unlucky. Let's go, young lady, my name is Yun Xian. In the future, you can call me Yun Zhu. Do you still know your name? On the way back to the inn, the cloud shopkeeper asked. After spending a short time together, the shopkeeper felt that although Bai Yao didn't say much, the calm and indifferent temperament on his body couldn't be concealed. This temperament was only seen in wealthy households. Bai Yao from Baijia village, this is my sister Bai Shue, Bai Yao replied, thinking of his own plan, his identity cannot be hidden. After all, if you do business, you need to pay attention to honesty. Bai Shue has been tightly holding on to Bai Yao's arm, experiencing today's events, she feels very insecure. Bai Yao's warm hand touched the back of Bai Shue's cold hand, attempting to give her a sense of security. Seeing his sister's gentle and calm eyes, Bai Shue felt much more at ease. Bai Jia Village There is actually such a person in Bai Jia Village. He has heard of it for the first time. There are five villages in Muli Town, and Baijia village is the second to last poor village. Surprisingly, someone in Baijia village can come up with a gold bar. He couldn't help but ponder for a moment, forget it, he won't ask where the money comes from when it reaches him. Bai Yao did not expect that taking out the gold bar from the space would arouse suspicion from others. Even though she had not yet transformed from her previous life identity, she was too lazy to think about it. I quickly returned to the inn. Could you please go to the town to take my uncle here? Bai Yao suddenly remembered that Uncle Zhong was still inquiring about news at the market and said he would meet at the town entrance. He couldn't see her at the moment, so he was very anxious, right? Sure, Xiao Shun, did you hear what this little lady said? Go ahead. Okay. I'll go now, little one. This little lady has a gold bar in her hand. Don't say he's going to call someone, even if he's going to tie someone up, he dares. He heard it, but after finishing the task this time, the gold bar was folded in half. 50 Liang The inn has been open for a month without 50 tails. Get this done today, it's been almost two months of business. Perhaps the shopkeeper's happiness could be rewarded with a couple of tails, and the more Xiao Shun thought about it, the happier he ran. Bai Zhong was really anxious at this moment. When he caught a passerby, he asked if he had seen such a tall girl. Have you never seen someone so tall before? What about such a tall little girl? He was afraid that one niece was missing and the other was missing. Cloud in. Second sister, please wait here for a moment while I talk to manager Yun. Bai Yao said gently to the sticky white water. Big sister. Bai Shue lowered his head somewhat unwillingly, wanting to follow the elder sister, afraid that she would be deceived again. Big sister was only taken away after being deceived. It's okay, I'll be out soon. Bai Yao sighed inwardly, still scared. Fortunately, she came in time. After hearing Bai Yao's words, Bai Shue finally released his arm that was holding Bai Yao. White lady, please come this way. The shopkeeper Yun immediately understood Bai Yao's intention, rubbed his hands, and happily invited him to the study. I personally served tea to Bai Yao again. Thank you to manager Yun today. Here's the gold bar for you. Yes, yes, as Yun shopkeeper spoke, he smiled and took the gold bar, then took out fifty tails of silver from his pocket and gave it to Bai Yao. I don't know if manager Yun has considered expanding the inn. Bai Yao picked up the teacup on the table with a deep expression and drank tea. While waiting for the news, she took notice of the location of this inn and wanted to take it down. My younger brother is being adopted, so there shouldn't be anything wrong. After all, as far as she knows, there is a strong preference for boys over girls here, and it's from the neighboring Wanjia village. When my second sister is fine, she breathes a sigh of relief. 
mainly because she wanted to get started as soon as she had this idea, and she was very interested in the location of this inn. Although Yun Xian loves wealth, he is still quite upright. After obtaining the memory of the original owner, she knew how poor the family was, even before her parents went missing. My father also works as a laborer. Sometimes he goes hunting in the mountains, sometimes he helps people move things, but he doesn't necessarily have to work every day. With many children at home, he also needs a lot of food. Both of her parents are not stingy people, and they provide them with good food, so this family doesn't have much money left. A thousand copper coins only earn one or two silver coins, and a single gold bar is worth one hundred tails of silver. One hundred tails of silver is already a wealthy family for Muley Town, which is relatively poor. My mother often takes her sisters to dig wild vegetables in the mountain, because she can't grow vegetables. According to the truth, my father should be able to read and find jobs. My mother's embroidery is very good, which is excellent compared with other people in the village. Why is this family still so poor? Don't get it after the disappearance of their parents, their siblings faced even more difficulties, and their already poor families were even more affected by the involvement of the Lee family, making it even more difficult. The siblings are all thin and bony, looking really heart-wrenching. It's not unexpected, but in Muley Town, there are already five inns, one of which has closed down, and now there are only four left. Expanding will only result in even greater losses. The shopkeeper Yun sighed and wanted to see an inexplicable emotion in his eyes. It seems that manager Yun also has a story. Mainyang comes from Bailey County, which is Muley Town. The two of them used to be neighbors and said they didn't have any stories, but Bai Yao didn't believe them. Have you ever considered merging the inn and restaurant into one, with the lobby on the first floor serving as a restaurant, private rooms on the second floor, and a lounge in the backyard? Yun, the shopkeeper, loves wealth, but he is the kind of person who doesn't know how to invest. He meets Mainyang, which shows that he is a knowledgeable person. Although the shopkeeper Yun kept smiling and smiling, the reluctance in his well-hidden eyes did not escape Bai Yao's eyes. If Bai Yao's guess is correct, this Yun Xian is from the county. Wonderful. But in this small place of Muley Town, I am still afraid, after all, an inn will go bankrupt. Upon hearing Bai Yao's words, the shopkeeper Yun's eyes lit up and then dimmed again. Cloud shopkeeper, I want to ask you, Muley Town is just a small town, why are there so many inns? Bai Yao can indeed understand the concerns of manager Yun, but he dare not invest, so how can he have a large income? Of course, it's because there is a low mountain in Muley Town with a stunning waterfall on it. Yun, the shopkeeper, was speaking contentedly and then paused before suddenly grasping Bai Yao's meaning. Yeah. The reason why there are many inns in Muley Town is because the people in the county have heard of a Bihu waterfall in Muley Town, and literati who are elegant come to appreciate and write poetry. There are restaurants in the town, but on a small scale. If we change the inn to what Bai Yao said, it will be even more concerning for those literati and literati who drink and write poetry, especially the Mingda Academy, which is located between Bailey County and their Muley Town. If the restaurant brings an inn, after drinking, you can rest directly or stay for a long time, which is indeed feasible. And the location of the Cloud Inn is not the closest to the town entrance, but the location from the waterfall is the clearest to see. From a distance, you can see the waterfall rushing down in the distance, it's simply a stunning painting. How could he never have thought before that the position of the inn was facing the water, and the feng shui was not good? Because it is not located at the entrance of the town, people from other places usually choose the nearest location as soon as they enter the town. At that time, he felt that the location of the inn was not good, and the waterfall had a feeling of wanting to wash away his money, which made him feel dissatisfied. Now, after listening to Bai Yao's reminder, where is this money pouring out? Is it the money that has been lost? End of this chapter Chapter 6 Drawing Cakes for Yunxian You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Drawing Cakes for Yunxian Do you understand? 
Bai Yao looked at the cloud shopkeeper who was lost in his joyful fantasy and asked. Sure enough, Manager Yun is a smart person. She can think of these benefits with just a hint, and the only thing he lacks is courage. I understand now, thank you for Bai Nyang's suggestion. Since Bai Nyang has proposed it, she must have some ideas. At this moment, she felt that Bai Yao was simply the god of wealth, and the thought of treating her coldly when Bai Yao first entered the inn made her want to slap her. I want to be the host, Bai Yao said lightly. Cloud shopkeeper only loves wealth, but without anyone to lead him, no matter how much he loves wealth, he is just guarding this little money. What? As soon as manager Yun heard this, he became angry. Patted the table and stood up in anger. Does she know what she's saying? Surprisingly, he said he wanted to become the owner. I don't blame him for being angry, just because Bai Yao reminded him to be his boss. He is unwilling to say anything. It feels like I treat you like a friend, but you want to be my boss. Don't worry, I said I want to be the owner, but I didn't say you can't invest, it's just that I want to take the lead. In fact, this cooperation is beneficial and harmless for you. To Bai Yao's surprise, the cloud shopkeeper would get angry and still sit calmly, occasionally sipping his tea. She originally wanted to say she wanted to buy his inn, but he doesn't have any business either. In the end, Bai Yao didn't say anything like this, he only said that he wanted to cooperate. Yun, the shopkeeper, didn't understand what Bai Yao meant by investing, but John Dai too understood. Then tell me why you're so big-headed. Cloud shopkeeper snorted coldly and said loudly. But seeing Bai Yao's indifferent posture, I couldn't help but calm down and sit back. No. Bai Yao put down the tea and took out a design from his sleeve. It was discovered through the effort of using the restroom to find it in the space. The design drawing of the ancient style villa hotel found in her pile of miscellaneous items was also a design assignment she had to submit during an architecture class that her comrade had pulled her to enroll in. When she came up with the idea of this inn, she quickly found this picture. You see, the restaurant has been designed in this way, with a side room facing south in the backyard and a private dining room window facing east, which is towards the waterfall. Guests drink and eat while enjoying the waterfall scenery. It's not just about arranging the geographical location well, but also adding some building materials that I designed during the renovation, finding good wine, and cooking good dishes. It's hard not to be famous. It will be the only big restaurant in town by then. You need to figure it out. If I become the owner, even if the restaurant goes bankrupt, it won't involve you. You can still start over with the money you've been opening an inn for so long. If a restaurant becomes famous and its income keeps flowing, wouldn't your income double? And as my employer, if given time, I will definitely make your income ten times higher than it is now. After the town becomes famous, we can go to the county and even open more branches. As Bai Yao spoke, he looked at the expression of manager Yun. When he saw his bright eyes, Bai Yao already knew that she had succeeded in drawing pancakes. Then I have to consider it. Yun Xian received the design drawing given by Bai Yao, and his eyes lit up. It seemed that this young lady was not looking for her sister so easily. Is this aimed at his inn? It seems that they came prepared. No, he can't be so hasty. Although what she said is very tempting, he still needs to consider it. Although Yun Xian was already dizzy and disoriented by Bai Yaohua's pancake, there was still a hint of rationality. Seeing his conflicted expression, Bai Yao chuckled inwardly, looking as if he had succeeded. People, once they have a little idea, it will expand countless ideas. At night, when Yun Xian was sleeping, he tossed and turned around with pancakes that Bai Yao had drawn for him. Yun Xian kept thinking of Bai Yao's words in his mind, if she were the owner, going bankrupt wouldn't be his business. If he becomes famous, his income will double. Thinking of Bai Yao's determined appearance, he made a decision. Follow Bai Yao gone. In the future, whenever Yun Xian thinks of today, he will exclaim that this is the most correct choice he has ever made in his life. Of course, this is a later part. 
All right, think carefully. If you have decided on the blueprint, choose a good day, find a good person, and start construction directly. Why does Bai Yao want to become the owner? Since she wants to become a restaurant, resting at the inn is just one of her main purposes, and her main focus is on food. In this time and space, there are no modern and diverse dishes, and the people are mainly satisfied with their stomachs, without even thinking about food. Only in big county towns can there be delicious food, and this small town is truly rare. So she wants to start from this aspect. She believes that Yun Xian will be attracted to him. Yun Xian felt in his heart that Bai Yao was definitely not one of the women in the village. Look at these thoughts and insights, there are women who can compare. As I watched the sun pass by noon, I remembered my younger brother hadn't picked it up yet. After taking fifty tails of silver, I left. Leave Yun Xian pondering. She is not afraid of Yun Xian using any tricks, because the main way to earn money is not just for him to build a restaurant. And she is very confident in her own judgment of people. Although Yun Xian is opened up minded when it comes to money, he is not the kind of person who can do anything as long as he has money. He is a knowledgeable and intelligent person. Smart people don't think for long, leaving behind drawings, she has already given up her utmost sincerity. Sister, you finally came out. Bai Shui was delighted to see Bai Yao come out. Well, we'll go pick up our younger brother later. After hearing Bai Shui's voice, Bai Zhong also looked over. At that time, he was so anxious that he almost wanted to report to the government office in town. That young man Xiao Shun came to tell him that his two nieces were both in the cloud inn, and he breathed a sigh of relief and followed him. Now looking at the picture of sisters reuniting, he was completely relieved. Uncle Zhong, take my second sister to tie up the ox cart first. She has an injury on her body. I'll go to the clinic to buy some medicine and some things along the way. Bai Yao never forgot the faint smell of blood she smelled when approaching Bai Shui. She has always been sensitive to blood, and seeing that her face did not change much, she knew that although the injury was not significant, it was also suffering. That old woman will not survive tonight, and her sister's revenge can be considered revenge. Her revenge needs to be taken slowly. Sister. No need, just a little whiplash, no bleeding. Let's go pick up our younger brother instead. As soon as Bai Shui heard that Bai Yao was going to buy something, he quickly said. She knows about the situation at home and where to buy medicine for her scratches. Ah! Shui Shui is injured. You've been wronged. Then hurry up and buy some medicine. Bai Zhong also cared when he heard that Bai Shui was injured. While speaking, he took out money from his pocket. I don't know if this money is enough to buy medicine. If it's not enough, I'll go back and get it. Bai Zhong held thirty copper coins in his hand and wanted to thrust them into Bai Yao's hand. Uncle Zhong, thank you. I still have some money, you don't need it. Trust me. You go to the ox cart first. After speaking, Bai Yao stuffed the money back into Bai Zhong and didn't give them a chance to speak, so he walked out directly. Er Shu Gong is his grandfather's younger brother. Bai Zhong is Er Shugong's second son, and Bai Cheng is his father's biological brother. The two are simply incomparable. Bai Yao suspected that it was not his biological child anymore. In his memory, he didn't have the same impression of his father as she did. However, his younger sister looked more like Bai Yan, and she looked more like her mother. Bai Yao went to the only pharmacy in the town, called the Wen Family Pharmacy. The ancient medical treatment was indeed poor, and the town was so big, but there was only one clinic. The cost of medical treatment is also quite high. Fifty copper coins for medical treatment, not including the money for medication. However, it is said that one can write IOUs and do some miscellaneous work to change medicine. Capitalism is really good at pulling wool, but in Muley Town, it is said that the old man of the one family's divine doctor is quite good. Suddenly, it occurred to me that she still had to thank her for being an orphan in modern times, having been taken for training since childhood. 
She never had the joy of being a child, nor did she know what childhood was. According to the people in the orphanage, she was found in a trash can and almost died at the time. Later, she was rescued by kind-hearted people and went to the orphanage. There are too many children in the orphanage, and those people can't take care of her at all. However, she is cute and the principal's mother likes her very much. She also takes good care of her, but she is often bullied by other children. She was able to remember things from the age of one, so after two years old, she was noticed by the people at the base because of her talent and intelligence. From then on, she was able to truly eat and dress warmly. In order to repay her country, she also worked hard to learn everything. Probably due to the mercy of heaven, she has been learning things very quickly since childhood. Because she was outstanding, she was quickly taken to the special training island at the age of four. The island has a lot of freedom in learning and learning. Almost unlimited, learn whatever you want, gather various talents, and the teachers are all willing to teach each other. Because she wants to serve the country, she learns anything that benefits the country. Western medicine and traditional Chinese medicine are no exception. She believes that everything is worth making contributions to the country and has always held the belief of defending the country since childhood. Suddenly, I am particularly grateful to myself at that time for learning so much. Thinking about it, I went to the clinic. End of this chapter Chapter 7 This water is so sweet. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 This water is so sweet coming to the clinic is just a gimmick. There are many medicines in her space, such as ointments, medicines, and wines that promote blood circulation, remove blood stasis, reduce swelling, stop bleeding, and relieve pain. She also has medical equipment and has built a specialized medical room in the villa for research purposes. But since everyone has come, let's grab some tonic medicine. The younger sister is still sick. Although she has taken antipyretic medicine, she still needs to take a few pairs of medicine. We also need to take some anti-abortion medication. There have been too many incidents today, and we have already had several abdominal pains. After taking the medicine, Bai Yao bought some brown rice next to him. In this town, there is mostly brown rice, and only wealthy families can afford white rice. Therefore, white rice can only be purchased in Bailey County. I originally wanted to buy more household items, but as a pregnant woman, she really can't get that much. I want to secretly mix some rice and brown rice in the space. In order to avoid suspicion, I bought a backpack and mixed brown rice with white rice. I bought pork and put it in the brown rice. I also bought some small vegetables and put them in the frame. After putting half of the medicine I grabbed, I couldn't put it in. Carrying a basket and a few pairs of medicine, I went to find Uncle Zhong and second sister. She originally wanted to buy some pork for Uncle Zhong, but she was afraid of being seen by the villagers and worried about not being able to live well again. Because only a few people in Baijia village can afford meat during the Chinese New Year, eating meat is a luxury for Baijia village. Of course, except for everyone else, a person who is tall and fat can produce oil, let alone his family, which originally raises pigs and sells pork. Baideth sells pork in the town market every day. Today, in order to soak her in a pig cage, she didn't open a stall. I really look up to her. I don't want to harm my family anymore. I will slowly torture them in the future. I believe she hasn't died, and they will definitely have some movement. Then they can hee hee. Let's have a chance to repay Uncle Zhong's kindness again. I thought about it and left. Sister, Bai Shue kept staring at the path that Bai Yao was about to return, and finally saw Bai Yao's figure. His suspended heart was relieved. Uncle Zhong, second sister, after approaching, Bai Yao politely called out Bai Zhongsai and looked at his sister. Bai Rice. Bai Zhong nodded and asked with a appreciative smile. The cloud shopkeeper helped me find my second sister, and then I told the shopkeeper a way to make money. The shopkeeper lent me some money, but there was nothing to eat at home. When I came out, the little sister had a fever. 
Bai Yao said, thinking of his little sister at home, he didn't know if she was awake, so he had to quickly go pick up his younger brother and go home to take a look. Does the little girl have a fever? Bai Zhong was also concerned when he heard that Bai Yu had a fever. What sins have these children caused? God wants to treat them like this. When I came out, I had already wiped her body and it cooled down a bit before I came out. Uncle Zhong, don't worry. I also bought medicine for my little sister. Can you please Uncle Zhong take us to Wangjia village? My younger brother was sold to Wangjia village by my aunt. Thinking that Bai Jin might not be as miserable as Bai Shui and the others, Bai Yao dragged on until now, but he always had some bad premonitions in his heart, so he said to Bai Zhong. Okay, okay, hurry up and get on the bus. Bai Zhong quickly got on the cart and prepared to drive the cows as soon as he heard that Bai Jin was still in Wangjia village. When Bai Shui heard that his younger brother had been sold, he was also extremely anxious. She was the first to sell by Jean, so she didn't know that her younger brother had also been bought. On the way, Bai Yao briefly explained the process to her. Bai Jean is Bai Yao's only younger brother, while Bai Yu is his youngest sister. At this moment, Mo Yushin sure, fortunately it is now mid-September, and the sky has not darkened so quickly. Otherwise, in ancient times, there were no streetlights or anything, which was very inconvenient. And because the villages are all located on the outskirts of the Longhu Mountains, where wild boars and wolves roam, it is very unsafe at night. I inquired with the people in Wangjia village and found out about the Wanghu family. Soon, Bai Zhong drove the ox cart to the entrance of Wanghu's house, which was not closed with a loud bang, several people's gaze fell on the courtyard of Wang Hu's house. From a distance, you can see your own brother's thin figure holding a heavy axe chopping wood, while two taller girls are happily playing on the side. With a thin and weak body, a pale face, and thick black circles under his eyes, he looked at his small body, which was about to collapse in the wind, and lifted a high axe. It seemed like he had exhausted all his strength from breastfeeding, but he was too hungry and had no strength left. No, if he doesn't finish chopping the firewood, he will be beaten again. He has been focusing on chopping the firewood and hasn't noticed any movement at the door. Looking at my brother's shaky figure, it hurt a few people's eyes. She shouldn't take chances, she forgot that ancient and modern civilizations are different. She saw in the modern civilization that the children adopted in orphanages looked very good, especially boys, and many people adopted boys. Now she felt a slight pain when she saw her younger brother's appearance. Bai Jin's face turned pale, and her lips were colorless. It seems like she hasn't eaten for a day or a night. Didn't Wang Hu and his wife take Bai Jin back as their son? This is clearly being a laborer. Bai Jin's eyes were aimlessly chopping at the firewood, leaving him with no strength left. His heavy axe fell to the ground, and others were about to fall backwards. Bai Yao didn't even care about getting pregnant, so he quickly ran over and hugged his younger brother. An eight-year-old child looks like six years old, there's nothing heartbreaking about it. I breathed a sigh of relief after discovering that my younger brother was just starving and had low blood sugar without any major issues. She really wanted to take out food from the space and give it to him. It was inconvenient for many people to have mixed eyes, so she took advantage of the lack of attention and stuffed a candy into her brother's mouth. Brother, brother, when Bai Yao ran over, Bai Shui and Bai Zhong also reacted and ran over. However, Bai Shui had some injuries and didn't notice that Bai Yao had stuffed something into his younger brother's mouth. Just keep calling him younger brother. Dot. Sister. Is he dreaming? Why do you seem to hear the voice of the older sister? Indeed, he is about to die. Brother. Bai Jin's head was dizzy, but it seemed like he had actually heard his sister's cry. It was also fortunate to see her before he died. He tried hard to open his eyes, but it was very difficult. He could only weakly call out his sister with his mouth moving. His mouth moved for a moment, and suddenly he became clear-headed. At this moment, he felt as if there was something in his mouth, 
sweet and delicious. Because he was hungry and anxious, he moved his mouth, bit it, and it disappeared, but the sweetness was still in his mouth. He also gained some consciousness because of a candy, and only then did he open his eyes in a daze to see clearly. It was really his sister's. Big sister. Second sister. Woo 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 woo. Seeing that it was really her two sisters, by Jean could only cry softly because she was powerless. Who knows how scared he was the night before yesterday. The bullies in the village tied up the elder sister with torches and took her away, shouting to soak the pig cage. At that time, they were running and trying to save the elder sister, but unfortunately they couldn't beat the adults. In a few strokes, the elder aunt asked someone to carry them home, and then separated them from the second sister, locking the door. That night, he was taken away by Wang Hu and his wife. After bringing it back, they didn't give him anything to eat, only gave him some water to drink. Then Wang Hu punched and kicked him in the firewood room, but publicly claimed to be his adopted son. Wang Hu said that he cannot eat until he finishes chopping the firewood in the shed. Dad. Mom. Bad guys are here. The two little girls shouted when they saw Bai Yao and Bai Shui holding Bai Jin. Upon hearing the sound, Wang Hu grabbed the guy and came out with a posture of ready to fight. When he saw that it was Bai Yao and Bai Shui, he looked surprised. Aren't you a little slut drowned in a pig cage? And you, weren't you sold to become a maid? How did you come back? Wang Hu put down the guy, hugged his chest and looked at the sisters contemptuously. Nowadays, Bai Yao is already very angry and is always called a little slut by these savage villagers. Even grandma can't bear it. Moreover, now that she sees her brother tortured into such a culprit, she is going crazy. Without saying a word, Bai Yao walked forward and picked up the pole that Wang Hu had just put down. When a few people in the yard didn't react, he hit them. Little slut. Bite by bite, little slut. I'll beat you to death. Let you abuse my brother. Let you hit my brother. Although Bai Yao's physical fitness is not good now, her mind is still there, knowing where hitting someone hurts the most, and she still remembers her skills. By skillfully wielding a shoulder pole, he hit someone in pain. One who didn't react and screamed in pain. We don't even give a chance to counterattack. Bai Zhong and Bai Shui were stunned at this moment. Bai Zhong. I only found out now that my niece is so skilled at beating people. Fortunately, Bai Zhong was unaware of Bai Yao's feet at her uncle's house. He cut off one of his aunt's fingers and scratched his cousin's neck and arm. Otherwise, these are nothing. Bai Shui. Sister, how handsome. Bai Jin. I'm dizzy, I can't see it, but how could I hear Wang Hu's screams? Bang Dang. Wang Hu's wife came out with a water basin to take a look and saw her husband being beaten to the ground by a little girl with a stick, and was scared and dumbfounded. And the two daughters were hugging each other on the side, crying loudly, obviously scared to tears by Bai Yao. Who are you? Why do you want to hit me, Xiang Gong? Xiang Gong, are you okay? After Wang Hu's wife reacted, she rushed up and hugged Wang Hu, and Bai Yao stopped panting. This is the end of abusing my brother. Although my second sister was whipped, the smell of blood was not strong, and it was probably a skin injury. That woman was also unlucky, and she took revenge, mainly because Main Yang and the others also provided food. This couple didn't even give their younger brother a meal and even let him chop firewood for a whole day. Still punching and kicking. Now that Wang Hu has been taught this lesson, she feels it's not enough, but thinking that it's not the time to teach her a lesson, let him have a few days and he won't be able to get up. Let's go. Bai Yao angrily walked over to Bai Shui and Bai Jin to invite them out. When they went out, Bai Zhong gave Wang Hu and his wife a fierce glance. Let me carry the white brocade onto the ox cart. Bai Zhong knew that Bai Yao was pregnant and Bai Shui was injured again, so he took the initiative to pick up Bai Jin. The three of them walked out in a fit of anger, 
but the thought of Bai Yao beating them up made their mood much better. Stop. Wang Hu's wife was really angry and shouted loudly. Bai Yao turned around and gave a cold glance at Wang Hu's wife. Wang Hu's wife trembled and dared not speak again when she saw Bai Yana's cannibalistic gaze. Bai Zhong placed Bai Jin on the ox cart, and Bai Yao and Bai Shui also got on the cart. Bai Zhong rushed towards the direction of Bai Jia village. Bai Jin weakly closed her eyes and sucked on her tongue. The sugar that the elder sister had just put into her mouth was too sweet and delicious. Although he was dizzy, he also knew that the person with sugar was the older sister. Quickly arrived at the entrance of Baijia village, where there was also a river that was connected to the Yenwang River through the Bihu waterfall. Yenwang River, Bai Yao shook his head, it really doesn't match this stunning waterfall at all. Uncle Zhong, stop for a moment. I want to get my younger brother some water to drink. He probably hasn't eaten or drunk for a day or a night. Okay, you go. Hey. You guys are suffering. Bai Yao was pregnant, and Bai Shui had a whip wound on his body. Bai Jin was starving and fainted, and Bai Yu had a high fever. The more Bai Zhong thought about it, the more pitiful he felt. Bai Yao got off the ox cart, picked bamboo leaves from the side of the river, folded them into cups, and pretended to fetch water from the river on his side. In fact, I took out mineral water from the space, opened the bottle cap with one hand, and poured it into the bamboo leaves. When it was almost full, I returned the mineral water. Using his mind, he took out a small stick of glucose from the space and poured it into the water, throwing all the garbage back into the space. The speed was fast, and they didn't have any doubts about it. Holding the water, he returned to the cart. Brother, wake up and come drink some water. At this moment, Bai Jin was in Bai Shui's arms. He opened his eyes in a daze and saw the elder sister holding water and thrusting it at his mouth. Bai Jin didn't even think about it and drank all the water with a thud. Sister, this water is so sweet. After drinking water, Bai Jin suddenly felt that she had strength and said. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Little Sisters Crying You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Little Sisters Crying This is the water you and I received, of course it's sweet. Bai Yao smiled and said. Anyway, you didn't know it was filled with glucose. A few people saw that Bai Jin had woken up and his condition was also good, but they all relaxed a lot. Big sister received such sweet water that I also want it. I also want it. Bai Shui also smiled and said at this moment. Big sister, she's fine, and their siblings have all come back. Little sister is at home, it's great. If only my parents would come back too. Good, good. Everything has everything. Bai Yao got off the cart again and went to fetch water, so naturally she wouldn't really go to fetch water from the river. I picked another bamboo leaf and folded it, turned around, and secretly poured mineral water into two bamboo leaf cups. Uncle Zhong, thank you for your hard work. Let's drink some water too. Bai Yao gave another Roayi cup to Bai Zhong, and he didn't hesitate to take it. Another one gave white water. Wow! I've never noticed before that the water at the entrance of this village is so sweet and clear. After drinking the water in one gulp, Bai Zhong also felt that it was very sweet. He had also drank this water before, but he didn't receive any sweetness from Bai Yao. He thought to himself, probably because he saw their siblings reunite, so it was sweet. Yes, yes, the water my sister received is so sweet. You can also take a sip, sister. After taking a sip of Bai Shui, he handed the Roayi cup to Bai Yao. Bai Yao took a sip and gave it back to his sister. Sweet, just finish it and go ahead. Bai Yao could tell that Bai Shui was heartbroken and that he had put in a lot of effort for her and his brother today. And she also knew that her sister was pregnant, and she was also twelve years old this year. She had seen the scene of her mother giving birth to a younger brother and sister, so she naturally understood. 
Bai Shue is a sensible person, perhaps due to the silence of Bai Yao over the years. Before, she used to coax her younger siblings more at home, and she also did more household chores. The whole family takes good care of Bai Yao, and his mother would tell Bai Shue that Bai Yao was sick and didn't like to talk when he was young, so she would take care of her younger siblings more. Compared to Bai Yao, Bai Shue is more like an older sister. Now that she saw her sister talking all day, her bright eyes never left Bai Yao. Bai Zhong drove the ox cart, and as the sun set in the west, Bai Yao's heart also missed his little sister who had a high fever. She was already concerned about her brief contact with her younger siblings. I arrived home soon, and as I approached, I heard sobbing sounds. Bai Yao's heart trembled, little sister woke up. Thank you, Uncle Zhong, for your great kindness today. I think Uncle Zhong hasn't been home all day, so my aunt should be worried too. Uncle Zhong, hurry back home, and I will take care of my younger brothers and sisters. Bai Yao backed away from the frame and helped her younger brother get off the ox cart, turning to Bai Zhong and saying, It is indeed a great kindness. In the village, many people have stopped interacting with her parents due to their disappearance. Moreover, her family was already living in a remote area, with no neighbors around, and I don't know what my father thought. When we split up, we were given such a piece of land. Okay, just tell Uncle Zhong if you have anything to do. If you can help, do it. Don't carry it on your own. Perhaps Bai Zhong also heard the crying and knew that Bai Yao was in a hurry, so he waved his hand and said. Okay, thank you, Uncle Zhong. After speaking, Bai Yao took Bai Shui and Bai Jin and watched as Bai Zhong drove the cow away before hurriedly returning home. Little sister, sister is back. Don't cry, don't cry. As soon as Bai Yao entered the door, he hurriedly said, and as he entered the dimly lit room, he saw Bai Yu curled up in a corner, crying and feeling very sorry. Sister. Sister. Bai Yu hurriedly climbed to the bedside, and Bai Yao hugged her with one hand patting her back and the other probing the temperature on her forehead. She felt her temperature drop and breathed a sigh of relief. It's okay, it's okay, sister is here. Bai Shui and Bai Jin saw their sister crying, and their eyes were also red. Big sister is still here, she hasn't been soaked in a pig cage, and she came to save them. The more she thinks about it, the more she wants to cry. You too, come over too. If you want to cry, just cry. Don't choke, don't hold back too much. After hearing Bai Yao's words, Bai Shui and Bai Jin burst into tears, as if they had encountered immense grievances. Bai Yao reached out and pulled them over, hugging them and crying loudly. These are all children. At this age in modern times, which one is not the treasure in the family's hands? Listening to the cries of my younger siblings, my eyes couldn't help but turn red. She was an orphan in her past life and had never enjoyed the warmth of her loved ones. In this life, although her parents went missing, she had two younger sisters and a younger brother. Since obtaining the memory of the female lead, I have also inherited her original feelings for several younger brothers and sisters. At the same time, they also lamented the hardships of their four fates. The short three months since my parents went missing seem like three years. Now it's different, she's here, she has a home, and she's free. From now on, this will be her home. Alright, alright, now all four of us are safe and sound. Don't cry, we will get better and better in the future. My parents haven't come back yet, the four of us have to rely on each other. After they were about to cry, Bai Yao gently hugged his younger siblings and said. Yes. We will get better and better. We need to wait for our parents return well. Bai Shui stubbornly wiped his tears with his sleeve and said. The older sister used to be quiet and reserved, and the villagers called her mute and foolish. Since her parents went missing, she has been in charge of almost everything inside and outside. Now that the older sister has said so much and comforted her, after all, she is only a twelve-year-old girl. She has burst into tears over the past few months of grievances. 
Bai Yao patted her back with satisfaction. For the younger sister Bai Shue, the original owner felt guilty. I am the man in my family. I will work hard. Bai Jin wiped away her tears and clenched her fist, saying. The eight-year-old boy is now exceptionally sensible due to his missing parents. Okay, okay. Bai Yao touched Bai Jin's head and found that his hair was dirty and tangled, but she was also pleased to see them crying like flower cats pretending to be energetic. Big sister, big sister, I also have to wait for my parents to come back. Yu Yu misses her mother. Bai Yu is young, only three years old, and is the most dependent age on her parents. At the age of only three, I found out that my parents were missing and I had to rely on my older sisters and brothers for my livelihood. Having fallen ill again, he spoke carefully and actively after hearing the inspiring words of his brothers and sisters. Okay. Then we need to take good care of ourselves every month. Sister is going to cook now, otherwise your third brother will be starving again soon. Bai Yao pinched Bai Yu's face and said. A three-year-old child who is thin and small is actually suffering from malnutrition. You two stay with Yu Yu well, I'll go cook first. After Bai Yao finished speaking, he walked out and took the frame placed in the yard to the kitchen. Third brother, you are weak and looking at your sister here. Don't go out and get in the way. I'll help her start a fire. Bai Shui said to Bai Jin in the room. Okay, although Bai Jin drank the glucose mixed with water from Bai Yao, he couldn't stand chopping firewood for a whole day at a young age. My body is particularly weak. Sister, I'll help you make a fire. Bai Shui entered the kitchen and said to Bai Yao. Okay, Bai Yao did not evade. Because we usually use white water to cook, after my mother disappeared, she was responsible for cooking. Looking at the shabby Dao Bai Yao, she was thinking about how to cut pork. She wanted to make lean kanji. The most nutritious food for her family was lean kanji. After Bai Yao washed the brown rice clean, the kitchen ran out of water. I just want to go to the big vat outside the yard and scoop some into the bucket. When I saw that the water cover of the large tank outside had already fallen to the ground, and the water in the tank was already dusty, I felt helpless. Coincidentally, there was no one in the yard. I walked to a corner of the yard, took a bucket and entered the space, quickly collecting water. The tap water in her small villa is drinkable directly. I picked up a bucket of water and quickly came out. I happened to hear Bai Shui calling me. Sister, the fire is ready. Okay, Bai Yao carried water and walked towards the kitchen. He poured a bucket of water into the pot and then put the washed rice in. After finishing these, he took the tattered knife and cut the meat. Sister, when did you buy pork? When Bai Shue saw pork, her eyes lit up and saliva was secreted in her mouth. She swallowed and didn't know how long it had been since she had eaten meat. Today, I only ate one mantu in the town. When I saw the meat, my stomach cried out. Upon hearing the gurgling belly of Bai Shue, Bai Yao laughed. I bought it by the way when I went to buy medicine today. We've all been wrong today and need to take it back to make up for it. Okay, I'm so happy. I'll go tell my younger siblings to go. After Bai Shue finished speaking, he ran out, bouncing and jumping as if his injuries didn't hurt at all. Seeing the white water coming out, I quickly covered the kitchen door and rushed into the space with the pork, throwing it directly into the meat grinder. After a while, it was ground and quickly came out with the meat, only to hear the footsteps of Bai Shue. Sister, why did you close the door? Bai Shue opened the door and asked in confusion. Sister fell into the water today and watched the sun set. It's a bit cold. Bai Shue was so scared that he quickly closed the door. Sister. Did you really get soaked in a pig cage? Bai Shue's eyes turned red and he looked as if he was about to cry. Bai Yao looked back at Bai Shue as he picked the vegetables and was momentarily stunned. Yeah, and then my sister crawled out of the cage. It could be said that I narrowly escaped death because I didn't die, 
and the village chief didn't dare to let me die either. Bai Yao said indifferently, as if he was indifferent, as the vegetables in his hand continued to be picked. Sister. Fortunately, you didn't die. Bai Shui suddenly choked up and cried, hugging Bai Yao from behind. Bai Yao has been racking his heart and soul all day today for his younger brothers and sisters. No one has ever mentioned the incident of her falling into the water. Suddenly, Bai Shui was so concerned and a little flustered. Because no one in Bai Yao's past life would have cared so much about his own life and death. She has a special identity as a special agent, performing dangerous tasks that could result in her death at any time. Perhaps it was the blood relationship of this body that led her to feel the warmth and concern of her loved ones. Is this the feeling of having family? All right, all right, Prince Yen dare not take your sister's life. It's you, where did they hit you? Unfortunately, the real Bai Yao with the same name and surname as her has already been taken in by the Yen prince, and she will help her take care of her family. Bai Yao patted Bai Shui's hand and let go of his consciousness. White water relies heavily on it without letting go. If you don't let go, your little nephew will be gasping for breath. Bai Yao saw that Bai Shui still didn't let go and said with a mix of tears and laughter. After hearing Bai Yao's words, Bai Shui finally released his hand. Although I was beaten, I didn't starve as badly as my third brother did all day and night. It was only because I helped someone else block the whip on my back that my skin peeled off a bit. Upon hearing that it was Bai Shui who blocked someone else's whip, Bai Yao didn't feel regretful about that unlucky woman. She didn't believe that the hands in their profession were not stained with blood. And she is particularly sensitive to this. She can tell from the woman's face that she is not a good bird, and she should have a lot of little girls' lives on hand. I'll help you medicate after dinner. Bai Yao opened the lid of the pot, and the water had already begun to boil. Bai Shui also tacitly added more firewood. Bai Shui listened to his sister's words and felt warm in his heart. He felt pity for the little girl who was beaten. It's all fate, right? Fortunately, she was saved by her sister. I feel particularly secure when I think of my sister's domineering appearance today. Perhaps after this time, the older sister has changed. Looking at Bai Yao's belly again, I have a little nephew. Does the little girl miss spring in the movie? What are you thinking? Bai Yao looked at Bai Shui, who was smiling for a moment, sighing for a moment, and then saying with a playful expression. I'm just thinking, sister is so handsome today, and I'm still wondering if she has a man or a woman in her belly. Watching Bai Shui smile happily, Bai Yao Xin suddenly softened. It's really nice to have a family. When you like it, boys or girls. I like both boys and girls, as long as they are born to my sister. Mouth poverty, Bai Yao's heart warmed and she smiled heartily, thinking about the little one in her belly. When she came out, her soft and cute appearance made her love flood. Heart to heart, heart to heart, heart to heart, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Siblings Reunion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Siblings Reunion Talk to Bai Shui and Smile Without Forgetting the Movements on Your Hands Put the minced meat into the pot and add a few drops of newly purchased lard. A fragrant aroma rushed in. Bai Shui was even more adorable as she sucked in her nose, as if she was about to taste the scent. Bai Yao was made hungry by Bai Shui's cute appearance. Bai Yao chopped the vegetables and stirred the kanji with a spoon to avoid sticking to the pan. After seeing that it was almost over, I scattered a handful of coarse salt and stirred it before adding chopped green vegetables. The smell of lean kanji filled the kitchen. Meat, meat. It's meat. The kitchen door was opened, and I saw my third brother and fourth sister standing at the door. The third brother kept licking his mouth, and the fourth sister's saliva flowed out. Bai Yao couldn't bear to look at it, so he used his sleeve to wipe Bai Yu's saliva with tears and laughter. Why did you bring fourth sister out? She's still sick. Bai Yao couldn't bear to scold the thin and weak two of them, 
so she gently said a few words. She never knew it was because a few little ones had been hungry for too long. Sister, it's the moon coming out, fragrant, hungry. Bai Yu touched her stomach and said to Bai Yao, her posture captivating her. Bai Yu's eyes are big, clear and bright. Apart from her messy hair and dirty clothes, her shoes are all torn. Bai Yu's face is still very cute. Bai Yao looked at Bai Yu and then at Bai Jin, thinking about washing them. Bai Shui is fine, it should have been washed by those women when he was taken to town. Okay, third brother, take fourth sister to the room and sit at the table. We can eat soon. Bai Yao smiled and said. The lean meat kanji in the pot was ready, and four slightly shabby bowls and spoons were taken out, and four bowls of lean meat kanji were put out. Because it was hot, I was afraid they would eat too quickly, so I only served a small bowl. Bai Yao and Bai Shui each took two bowls out of the kitchen. Bai Yao gave one bowl to Bai Jin and another bowl to Bai Yu. Be careful of scalding, blowing and eating, Bai Jin is sensible, but there's no need for Bai Yao to remind her. Bai Yu is only three years old and she's really afraid that she might burn her mouth if she takes one bite. The result was that Bai Yao thought too much, and Bai Jin was the one who was in a hurry. He must be starving. Bai Jin could not wait to see the lean meat kanji. Seeing Bai Yao moving the spoon, she took up the bowl and tried to blow hard to eat kanji as soon as possible. As a result, she accidentally blew too hard on Bai Shuelian. Causing Bai Yao to burst into laughter. I'm sorry, second sister. I didn't mean to. Seeing that she had done something wrong, Bai Jin quickly wiped the already blackened white water with her sleeve. What's so urgent? There's still a lot in the pot. Bai Shue said unhappily, but he felt warm when he ate lean kanji in his mouth. You er, your third brother is so anxious that he can't eat hot tofu, so you er, you should eat it slowly and not imitate your third brother. Bai Yao educated Bai Yu on the appearance of a textbook next to her. But, sister, why can't you eat hot tofu in a hurry? Isn't it because kanji kanji is too hot now? Why should you eat hot tofu in a hurry? Bai Yu asked with a questioning expression on her face. Bai Yao was taken aback for a moment. This sister had some thoughts on her. Does third brother know why he can't eat hot tofu in a hurry? Bai Yao asked again. I don't know, Bai Jin sincerely replied that they knew a little bit of Chinese characters because their father could read, so he taught them, but not very much. If you are too anxious, you cannot eat hot tofu. This means that if you are too anxious, you cannot eat hot tofu because hot tofu is very hot. If you rush to eat it, you will burn your tongue. If your tongue burns, eating will lose its flavor. If it doesn't taste, it means you can't eat hot tofu. Bai Yao patiently explained that these words have too many layers of meaning. So it's like this, then Yu Er understands. After Bai Yu heard about it, she scooped up a spoonful of kanji, gently blew it, probed the temperature, and ate it slowly. Do you understand, third brother? Bai Yao turned to look at Bai Jin and asked. Understood, Bai Jin obediently responded and Bai Shui felt lost in thought. This kind of big sister is also great. Big sister is finally willing to say more, and she will fight like her father again. She understands knowledge like her mother. Perhaps it was because the older sister experienced this family upheaval that she became better. She really likes the changes in the older sister. In fact, doing things is also like this. Don't be too hasty when doing things. If you are too hasty, you won't be able to do things well. After listening to Bai Yao's words, all three nodded and memorized them in their hearts. After some education, everyone didn't rush to eat. They ate slowly when it was hot, and only ate big mouthfuls when it turned warm in the end. The kanji made by elder sister is so delicious. The moon will eat it again, me too, white brocade echoes. Full Management after a happy dinner, the sun had set for a long time, but it wasn't completely dark. 
before it was completely dark, by Shue Shue caught fire again. The whole family was sick and injured, but fortunately they managed to catch a few pairs of medicine and come back. After frying the medicine for my little sister, I coaxed her to drink it and let her rest early. Fortunately, the medicine wasn't very bitter. Zayuyu obediently drank it. It seemed that she also knew that buying medicine would cost money, and her family didn't have any money to waste. Then he boiled the medicine of Bai Shui and Bai Jin, and finally came by Yao's own anti-abortion medicine. After everyone finished taking the medicine, it was already dark. Bai Yao still wanted to boil water for them to take a shower, but as it was getting dark and afraid of catching a cold, he didn't boil water. I've been making a fuss all day today and I'm also tired. After closing the room door, Bai Yao secretly took out the ointment from the space, with only one candle. In a dim environment, it was impossible to see what the ointment in his hand looked like. Bai Yao first asked Bai Jin to take off her clothes and look at the bruises on her body. The little man was quite awkward and didn't want to take off his clothes, but he couldn't resist Bai Yao, so he had to obediently take off his clothes. When he saw Bai Jin, who was all blue and purple on his body, Bai Yao regretted not beating Wang Hu. Even an eight-year-old child can handle it. Sister, what's this? It's cool. It's so comfortable. Bai Yao helped Bai Jin apply the wound on his back, and Bai Jin asked, feeling itchy and cool. This is the ointment that sister bought at the clinic. After applying it, it will heal quickly. I quickly finished painting by Jean. Help him cover up and let him sleep quickly. Bai Shue is still washing dishes in the yard. Second sister, have you finished washing it? Okay, it's your turn. Hurry up and show sister your injury. Bai Shue nodded, put the bowl back in the kitchen, and then followed Bai Yao into the room. The dim lights, Bai Yao saw a clear whip mark on Bai Shue's back. The blood has coagulated, but it is still being beaten hard. The culprit is probably being pulled by black and white impermanence at this moment. Does it hurt or not? Bai Yao asked with heartache. As long as sister comes back, it doesn't hurt. At this moment, Bai Shue still smiled and said. Sai, if it hurts, you need to know how to speak up. Bai Yao said while helping Bai Shue apply medicine. Okay, white water should arrive. All right, hurry up and go to bed. We'll talk about the rest tomorrow. After Bai Shui got into bed, Bai Yao blew out the candle. There are two beds in this room, one for my parents and the other for the four of them, but now my parents are not here. Bai Yao asked Bai Jin to sleep on my parents' bed. My parents' bed is only separated by a wooden board from theirs. The four people's bed was relatively large, and their three sisters slept in the four people's bed. Lying in bed, Bai Yao did not fall asleep, and the conditions at home were really poor. The blanket I'm covering now is almost completely black and has a smell. It can still be used for drying when my mother is around. After my parents were away, my family had no income. Sisters went to dig wild vegetables and eat every day. They were starving to death. They didn't want to dry quilts. It's okay to dig up wild vegetables, but if you can't, you'll be starving all day. There's no need to think about taking a shower or anything. Bai Yao sighed and didn't know how the original owner managed to conceive for three months without much to eat, and the fetus was still stable. I closed my eyes, maybe I was too tired, and soon fell asleep. I woke up as soon as the sky was slightly bright and white. After a while, Bai Shui also woke up. They rinsed their mouths and entered the kitchen tacitly. Bai Shui lit a fire and Bai Yao cooked kanji. Bai Yao. Bai Yao. As soon as he had cooked kanji, Bai Yao heard someone calling him outside. Opening the door, I saw a little woman who looked a bit unfamiliar at the door. It turned out to be Bai Zhong's wife, Wang Shi, and Wang Ruhua. Hello auntie, Bai Yao politely greeted him. She has some impression of this aunt, but not many. 
I heard that this aunt is diligent and got pregnant shortly after getting married to Uncle Zhong. After getting pregnant, Uncle Zhong stopped letting her do rough work and kept raising the baby at home. After the child was born, he also took care of her at home, which is Bai Yao's cousin Bai Yun. Bai Yun is only one and a half years old now. So Bai Yao rarely sees her. Uncle Er passed away early, and after his death, several sons of Uncle Er became married and divided the family. Er Shu Gong lives with his eldest son Bai Yu's family, so Zhong Shu's family consists of only three of them. Usually, Zhong Ant leads the family, while Zhong Shu leads the family. The villagers give them a friendly evaluation. Yesterday, your loyal uncle came back and talked about your family's affairs. Poor you kids, these are the radishes and winter melons that your aunt just went to the field to pull out. You should take them and eat them first. If it's not enough, then ask your aunt for them. Auntie didn't wait for Bai Yao to speak before entering the yard and neatly took out the vegetables from the basket and placed them on the empty basket of Bai Yao's house. It didn't take long to fill up. Auntie actually doesn't need it. At this time, there are still some wild vegetables in the mountains. I will look for them later. Of course, these are just rhetoric. She wouldn't go pick wild vegetables to eat, but she was curious about the mountains because in the original owner's memory, when she went to pick wild vegetables, she seemed to have seen medicinal herbs. She enjoys collecting medicinal herbs very much. You child. Although auntie can't help you so much, a few radishes and winter melons are not related. You can accept them. When she went to do laundry in the morning, she also heard about the things in the village. Baida and his family have always been so arrogant. And Li Tsuilian is simply not human, even her own nephews and nieces dare to buy it. After experiencing these things, the child's temperament changed greatly. The villagers said she was cruel and so on, but she still believed her husband by Zhong's words, which were not as terrifying as those women said. Well, aunt, did you have breakfast? I cooked brown rice porridge, and I'll bring you a bowl, Bai Yao didn't give his aunt a chance to refuse, so he just went into the kitchen to serve kanji. I've eaten it, I've eaten it. I'll leave it for you to drink. I'll leave first. Looking at Bai Yao who went into the kitchen to serve kanji, his aunt ran out without even sitting, afraid that Bai Yao would ask her to eat kanji. When Bai Yao came out with kanji, he was stunned and shook his head. Uncle Zhong's family was very kind. Aunt Zhong probably knows about yesterday. She borrowed money from others to buy this brown rice, so she can't drink it with peace of mind. I just hope that these children can survive. Bai Yao sighed and realized that Bai Zhong and his family were all honest. End of this chapter Chapter 10 A Family Washing Hair You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 A Family Washing Hair At this moment, Bai Jin and Bai Yu also woke up. Bai Yao probed Bai Yu's forehead, feeling relieved that his fever had completely subsided. The medicine in her space is excellent. She gave Bai Yu an injection yesterday, and it's strange if she doesn't reduce her fever. Last night, she whispered in Bai Yao's ear, saying that her buttocks hurt and that she had been bitten by ants, which made Bai Yao laugh and cry. Hurry up, you two, and wash your face. Come and have kanji. Looking at the light kanji, Bai Yao bought a lot of vegetables yesterday and left some. He went to the kitchen to stir fry a small vegetable. The vegetables mixed with kanji made them very happy. After finishing their meal, the messy yard yesterday had not been cleaned up yet, so a few people tidied it up. Bai Yao also took a few younger brothers and sisters to clean the house. Although the house was dilapidated, after doing a good job of hygiene, one could still see the classic farmyard. After tidying up the house, Bai Yao asked Bai Shui to start a fire and decoct medicine. Although the little girl had completely reduced her fever, in order to prevent recurrence, she still had to take three pairs of medicine. Her anti-abortion medication cannot be stopped either. Although she has space, since she has come to this era, she should adapt to the life of this era. She is about to give birth in six months, 
and as the months get bigger, she will definitely be overwhelmed. She has money in her space and a lot of gold bars, but she always needs to keep the money name honest and straightforward. She used to train every morning, but now that she's here, she's not used to the pregnancy gift package. You can only do yoga that pregnant women can do in space. She is not in a hurry about the in matter, let Yunxian carefully consider it first. However, on this side of the cloud in, Yunxian was wearing a black circle and his neck was about to stretch and cramp, but he didn't see Bai Yao's figure. Baijia Village Bai Yao asked them all to finish taking the medicine, and after taking the anti-abortion medicine himself, he went to the kitchen. She applied a layer of salt to the unfinished pork yesterday to prevent it from smelling. Now she has taken it out, cut it and put it on a wooden plate. Dad has good carpentry skills, so most of the kitchen utensils in the family are mainly made of wood. For example, dishes, spoons, and so on, but wooden. If used for a long time, it will stick to the taste, and if not dried, it is easy to mold, which is not a good thing to keep for a long time. It's better to use porcelain. Because I was thinking about going to town later, I decided to cook early in the afternoon, marinate the meat first, and cut the vegetables. After cutting the meat slices, secretly take out a little soy sauce, oyster sauce, and cooking wine from the space, then sprinkle some cornstarch and mix well. Then peel the carrots brought by my aunt and cut them into slices. This carrot is quite big. As far as the original owner remembers, the Lao Bai family also planted carrots, but none of them were as big as those brought by Aunt Chong. It can be seen that you have put your heart into it. After finishing the things, he left the kitchen. The water in the yard tank was stained with dust, and Bai Yao really didn't want to drink it. She doesn't want to have kidney stones. Simply boil the water in the tank and give the younger sister and third brother a bath. It happens that the weather is sunny today. Dry as you please, with the help of white water, the water quickly boiled. To Bai Yao's helplessness, Bai Jin refused to wash in the yard. Bai Yao tried hard and tried hard, but in the end, he was only willing to compromise and let Bai Yao help him wash his hair in the yard. Before that, Bai Yao saw a lot of mugwort near the yard and went to pick some mugwort leaves before throwing them back into the boiling water pot. Artemisia argi has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects, so it is more suitable to use Artemisia argi to wash hair in such a situation at home. Because Bai Yao discovered that the two of them were small and their hair seemed to have lice. Considering their messy hair, some of which were tangled and difficult to wash, Bai Yao secretly squeezed out some hair conditioners. Bai Yao helped Bai Jin wash first, took out the bench from the room, and let him lie on it. After rinsing with clean water, Bai Yao grabbed it and sure enough. Her hair is all tangled, fortunately she squeezed out some conditioner in advance. After using conditioner to grab open the hair, I flushed it. Here, men's hair is also long. Bai Jin is 8 years old and her hair is quite long. Fragrant After smelling the scent of conditioner, Bai Yu exclaimed excitedly, squatting there and looking at the white clumps, feeling very strange. After washing your brother, wash the fragrance for your younger sister. Bai Yao looked at Bai Yu with bright and curious eyes and said. Bai Yao took the low stool made by his father at home, put the only wooden basin on it, and then went to fetch water boiled with mugwort. I flushed a little more cold water. The bucket is emitting smoke. Bai Yao used a ladle and scooped a little. It's a bit hot. If it's too hot, just tell my sister. Do you know? Bai Yao said to Bai Jin, who was feeling a bit uncomfortable lying down. Previously, it was his mother who helped him wash his hair, but now that the older sister has spoken, this is the first time the older sister has helped him wash his hair. Okay, sister, please wash it. After all, Bai Jin is eight years old and the older sister still feels a bit different washing her hair. My heart is swollen and warm. Before, it was my second sister who took good care of him, but this time it's my eldest sister. After speaking, slowly pour mugwort water onto Baijin too. It's so comfortable. 
Bai Jin sighed. That's because you have lice on your head, biting you. Don't you even feel itchy? Bai Yao suddenly felt that the water was too hot, and this kid was actually shouting, comfortable. I used to feel itchy, but later I got used to it. Bai Jin said, and Bai Yao felt a hint of heartache again. The original owner didn't care about these things and didn't take good care of his younger siblings. If you wash it continuously for a few more days, it won't itch anymore. Bai Yao spoke while scooping water to flush his head. Sister, I need to help. At this moment, Yue was bored and holding her chin as she watched her sister wash third brother's hair. All right, sister, can you help your third brother charge his head? Can you help him grab his head? Bai Yao did not dampen the enthusiasm of the children. Okay. Yue Er is also someone who can help her sister. Yue Er is happy. Bai Yao was suddenly moved by his fourth sister's understanding. Bai Yu's little hand began to scratch Bai Jin's head. Ha ha ha, oh, it's so itchy. Sister, stop scratching. It's so itchy. Bai Jin only felt an itching on her head because Bai Yu gently scratched her, afraid of damaging her third brother. Bai Yao was also amused by their actions on the side. Little sister, please use some force, otherwise your third brother will have to itch and jump up. After hearing the elder sister's words, Bai Yu's face became serious and she rolled up her sleeves in a dry posture. Little hands were grabbing hard, but what strength could the three-year-old child have? He kept grabbing until Bai Jin burst into laughter. The white water boiled the water in the kitchen again, full and sufficient for three people to wash. When Bai Shui came out and saw such a scene, he also secretly smiled. Also come and scratch Bai Jin's head. The yard was filled with laughter. After helping Bai Jin wash her hair, it was Bai Yu's turn to wash it again. After both of them finished washing, Bai Yao asked them to move small benches to the yard to bask in the sun. Sister, there's still quite a bit of water. Can you also wash your hair? I'll help you wash it. Bai Shui said. You wash it first, I'll help you wash it. Bai Yao also knew that Bai Shui had burned quite a bit of water, so he said. Okay, then I'll wash it, and I'll help my sister wash it. Mmm, so, the older sister, younger brother, and younger sister happily washed their hair. Bai Yao actually doesn't want to wash it because she already washed it yesterday. But I'm afraid a few people may not be happy, so I should come down. Artemisia RG is a good thing, and it's okay for pregnant women to use it. The family who finished washing their hair are sunbathing in the yard. After my hair was almost dry, I thought that the sun in the morning should be so bright that I should sun dry the quilt. Because the quilts in the town need to be customized, and the customized quilts are not done so quickly, I took out two thin sheets of faded bedding in the room to dry. The poles used to dry the quilts have all gone moldy, and it's been a while since I last hung the clothes. Bai Yao really despised that pole and wanted to go to the kitchen to find a firewood knife. I searched for a long time but couldn't find it. What is sister looking for? Bai Shui asked curiously. Where's the firewood knife? The firewood knife was taken by the ant. Bai Shui answered in a low voice, We used to have some tools at home, but my aunt took away all their farm tools. Bai Yao heard this silence. The revenge for selling siblings has not been avenged yet. A finger is not enough. The silver that was sold has not been returned yet. After settling down several younger brothers and sisters, Bai Yao angrily rushed to Bai Cheng's family. Along the way, the villagers saw her at a distance, afraid that Bai Yao, the madman, would cut off their fingers. Some villagers also greeted Bai Yao with a friendly smile, but they didn't dare to approach. It seems that after yesterday's incident, she has established her authority in this village. Someone saw Bai Yao aggressively heading towards Bai Cheng's family and quietly followed up to watch the excitement. At the entrance of Bai Cheng's house, he exerted too much force yesterday, and the door was a bit crooked, but it didn't prevent Bai Yao from kicking open the door again. 
The villagers following behind took a deep breath of air when they saw it. They had never seen such a strong pregnant woman before. Li Tsuelian, get out of here. Bai Yao shouted loudly. The neighbors were all startled by Bai Yao's voice. Yesterday, Bai Yao's great achievements were already well dot known in Baijia village. Now Bai Yao is causing trouble again, and everyone is showing their heads to watch the play. This Li Tsuelian is usually arrogant, and this time she will finally suffer. I don't blame Bai Yao either. If they were to come back to life from being quietly immersed in a pig cage, they would also be angry. What are you, you little brat, doing here again? Li Tsuelian came out of the door and shouted loudly, but she didn't dare to approach Bai Yao. Her hands were still wrapped in thick burlap, and there was no blood on her face. It was probably painful. Who are you talking about as a lowly embryo? Bai Yao's eyes were emitting a cold light as he looked at Li Tsuelian and said. Li Tsuelian was shocked by Bai Yao's eyes and suddenly remembered that her fingers, which she had cut off yesterday, were hurting. I, I didn't say you. Just thinking of yesterday, Li Tsuelian stuttered when she spoke. If it weren't for her elder brother going on a bodyguard trip and her second brother going to the county to discuss business, would Bai Yao still be alive? When big brother and second brother come back, she must be beautiful and beautiful. Spit out the money that sold my younger brother and sister yesterday, otherwise don't take your other little thumb. Bai Yao squinted his eyes and threatened to speak. How dare you! I want to report to the government. Li Tsuelian trembled and pointed at Bai Yao, saying. Report it. Go report it now. I still want to report it. You took advantage of my parents' absence, encouraged the villagers to soak me in a pig cage, and sold my younger brothers and sisters, causing harm to both of them. It depends on whether your crime is serious or mine. Bai Yao's words were a bit more imposing, and she dared to conclude that Li Tsuelian did not have the courage to report to the government, let alone that the county town was far away from here. You. I won't report to the government anymore. Li Tsuelian didn't have the confidence to report to the government after hearing Bai Yao's words. She didn't want to go to jail. And the village chief will not allow her to report to the government. She had to endure and wait for her older brother and second brother to come back. Little did she know that when her older brother and second brother returned, she didn't even know she was in that pit. Then hurry up and take out the silver. She spent fifty tails to save her second sister. According to Mainyang, she bought white water at a price of five tails. This is a loss of nearly ten times. Although her main reason was to dig a pit for Yunxian, it was also money. I don't have it. When Li Tsuelian mentioned money, she became anxious, looking as if she wanted money but didn't have it. It seems that you won't shed tears until you see the coffin. After speaking, Bai Yao took out a dagger from his sleeve. The villagers were all stunned, Bai Yao was always carrying a knife. Looking at the sharp appearance of the knife, anyone who saw it had goosebumps. Give it, give it. I'll give it. Li Tsuelian trembled as soon as she saw Bai Yao's knife and quickly threw a packet of broken silver from her sleeve. The villagers who were watching the commotion dared not step forward, thinking that Bai Yao was a bit scary and afraid of accidentally stabbing them. Bai Yao threw away his silver and turned to enter the firewood shed of Bai Cheng's family. Although the knife was already broken and tattered, at least it was a knife. He took the firewood knife back and hesitated for a moment, feeling that it was not enough. All the farm tools in the firewood house have been moved away. Everyone watched as Bai Yao came out of the woodshed, holding a firewood knife in one hand and carrying five agricultural tools in the other. Oh my god! Why are there so many farm tools in Bai Cheng's family? Farm tools need to be registered with the town government office. Each household and adult can only receive one farm tool. Some people recognize that Bai Yao had three farm tools in his hand that belonged to his family, because they had seen Bai Yen take them before. You can't take those farm tools. Bai Cheng became anxious when he saw Bai Yao take away the farm tools. 
Agricultural tools are the life of farmers. What did your family do to my family? What happened to getting some farm tools? Bai Yao took a sharp glance at the family and walked away with a thud, carrying agricultural tools. The villagers left behind to discuss and walked to a deserted place, throwing all the agricultural tools into the space. Although there were many agricultural tools in her space, this firewood knife belonged to her father. It was not excessive to collect any more spoils of war. Having retrieved the silver and agricultural tools, and also frightened the villagers, Bai Yao felt very happy. Returning to the doorstep, he took out the agricultural tools again and entered the door, saying to Bai Shue. You stay at home watching your younger siblings, I'll go to the back mountain to see. When I returned home, I realized that the quilt had not been dried yet and the bamboo pole had moldy, so I couldn't get it down. I told Bai Shue to stay at home and watch over her younger siblings. She has room for cheating, and chopping bamboo is not a big deal. She has plenty of space for farming tools. Sister, why don't I go with you? Bai Shue said anxiously, Sister, who is pregnant, how can she go to the back mountain to dig wild vegetables? If Bai Yao heard this, he would definitely say, What's the point of digging wild vegetables while pregnant? I just went and kicked Bai Chang's house to pieces. No need, just close the door at home and keep an eye on your younger siblings. I'll be back soon. Bai Shue couldn't resist Bai Yao and had to give up, but he looked at him with a worried expression as he walked out. Bai Yao gave her a comforting smile and walked towards the direction of the back mountain. Second sister, how does she use space? In fact, she felt a bit that the small villa in the space was not quite right, but she didn't have time to take a good look. You can just go to the small villa and take a good look after returning to the mountain. After arriving at the back mountain and confirming that there was no one nearby, he dodged into the space. Bai Yao wanted to drink a bottle of milk to supplement his nutrition, so he went to get it and observed the space while drinking. Her small villa is built on a small island near Special Training Island, so the space includes the entire island. When I first observed the terrain of the small island, it was definitely not as large as the Special Training Island, but it was also not small. Mainly, I used scientific equipment to detect the excellent feng shui position of this island. Hundreds of years from now, there will be no sinking of islands. End of this chapter